Thanks for listening to the Snark Tank Podcast, the best podcast you've heard in at least the last three seconds. Consider supporting our unyielding depravity for as little as $1 a month to get early access to every episode every week. Your child doesn't need to eat, I promise you. Toss that Washington over yonder. You won't be disappointed. To learn more, go to patreon.com slash the snark tank. Hey, look, it's a little dead meme. Hey everybody, welcome to the Snark Tank Podcast with me, your your host, Chris Raygun, and uh And it's me, Tom Sweeney, here again to talk to you about stuff. And it's E, some black guy coming at you live. <laughs> <laughs> you almost died there. Oh, yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta chill out, some black man. I have a lot of respect for uh, for radio people. Yeah. Who do that stuff. Yeah. Because it's not easy to put on an entertaining voice for that long. Yeah, trust me. It's, yeah. I can't even do it for a few minutes. Yeah. I like the old school radio people, the ones that were like, you know, like, like yeah. what the hell? So, what was that? Midnight Magnus. <laughs> we're going to be talking about the Green Hornet and the Green Lantern. Tune in. <laughs> I love those voices, man. They're so cool. Well, will the Green Hornet make it out alive? Tune in next time. For, like, that was like fucking it's weird, weird I voice. Think that's, I think they, I don't even think they had different voices or inflections. I think it's literally about the way they recorded it. Because yeah. they don't even really like. Really? There's no excuse for <laughs> sounding like that. <laughs> that it sounds entertaining though. Like it sounds like a Lauren. No, no. But stuff. even on the news, like they would be like, "Ah, eh, news today. Uh, uh, a man fell off the street and died. He fell off the street. This man fell off. <laughs> man fell off a two-story building and landed on his head, but somehow is still intact. Talk to you later at 6 p.m. Good night. <laughs> that really was weird. more of the like. 90s era. That was more the 90s. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was like 90s? that was Family yeah. Guy, like the the the, yes, the, the yes. Trisha Takanawa. Trish, Trish, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's God, it. Yeah, I couldn't do. <laughs> yeah, and like, but like in the in the 60s, it was like, yeah. and it's like, what? There's Very no way sharp and yeah, high. See? Oh, the humanity! That classic "Oh, the humanity" clip. Oh, the humanity! And it's like, there's no way that guy sounded like that. That's an adult man in the 50s. Yeah, like, there's know, no man. way. I just don't believe that. <laughs> I or, like, a, all of there. those... Uh, a grown man in the 50s who sounded like that would have gotten beaten to death. But. Yeah, you'd be like, dude, you're, <laughs> you know you're what I mean? a man-child and you need to be slapped up. <laughs> you'd be slapped ben up Ben Shapiro would not survive in the oh, 50s. No oh, no way. <laughs> Let's say hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, I'm, I'm going to be real. It's more... It's Honestly, his voice bothers me more than him himself. Yeah, I'm, I would I'm agree. I just, he just, he's just annoying. Every time he says something, I'm just like, oh, my God, shut up. Yeah, I can't, I can't disagree with that. He'll say something... Every once in a blue moon that I think makes a little bit of sense, uh-huh. and even then I'll, I'll still be like, I don't. I wish you weren't. The, I wish you didn't, you didn't say that. Say that because <laughs> he just. I don't know. It really is just the voice, which I guess like I can't really complain about because I guess I have like a, a little bit of a it's, kind of a, that voice going on. I don't. I don't but cringe like, when I hear you talk. You know. I guess so. Nah, I, I, I don't know. Want, I don't want to set you on fire, but like that's like. That's like nothing to do with your voice. Anyway, so this is a, <laughs> anyway, so this is apparently a podcast. <laughs> I kind of forgot to introduce it really properly. Whoa, okay. We are uh, so basically uh, for those of you new, uh, we're going to be doing this every week. If you're mm-hmm. listening to this on Monday, that means you are a supporter and you you pay a dollar. Uh, and if you're listening to this on Thursday, like the rest of you, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, then you're listening to it for free. No pressure or anything, but a uh, dollar helps. A ton, and you get to write into the show for like five dollars. It's 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 a, it's a nice little operation we got going on. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna cool. control the world one day. Slowly but surely, we're gonna become the strongest podcast on this fucking planet. Mark our fucking words. I'll be back, and when I come back, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna take you somewhere real fucking dark. All right, <laughs> it's real fucking dark. You're not gonna know where the fuck you are, right? But you're gonna be safe. I like how it ended kind of nicely, though, too. Like, it seems, like, very dire, but you say you're going to be safe. I like that. <laughs> you're dark and you're going to be safe. You're going to fucking... So we got, uh, we got a couple questions from our lovely supporters over on Patreon.com slash the Snark Tank. Yeah, remember that. Branding. Please. Uh, the first question that caught my eye was, uh, was this one by, I think this guy's name is uh, Rush- Russianish. Mm. And his, his mm. question is, what do you think... Helen Keller's orgasms sounded like. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, oh man. Um, I, I, I'll go. I'll do it. No, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. You, me, you guys, I'll, I'll jump in. Ed, you, Derek, you down? You want to, you want to try this? Want to give it? Want to give it? A, give it a, I, it's a I, voice audition. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be real. It's just, 
I oh man, that's that's awful. Probably like a lot of muffled M sounds with a yeah. few Bs, then like a large <laughs> uh, at the end. It's not like that. I <laughs> feel like it's just a lot of fabric moving around. <laughs> <laughs> she can make sounds. You can speak, but she can make sounds. Could she? I don't know anything about Helen Keller. They, well, I, I just she, know that she was blind, I, deaf, and dumb. I right? think she Wombo has combo, the bro. like uh, the the cadence of uh, and like the intelligence of a mumble rapper. Like I think like there, <laughs> I think there's a little bit of a crossover. So you know you listen, you hear some of those songs, right? Like I'm like I was I got money in my bank. I was That's pretty that's so shockingly accurate. I can literally even... be a mumble rapper. I would refuse to because I respect the art of rap too much. I, I feel like that was as good as you're gonna get as far as a Helen Keller orgasm. No, I could I could really I, that's, I know I could do it. That's I'm the obscenely okay. good at okay. like changing my voice. Give us the Helen Keller uh big O. Okay, let me let me think about this a little bit. It's got to be in depth. I'm already angry. <laughs> Holy shit! That came from a real. Place. That somehow that offended me. <laughs> was, I'm I'm pretty method in my acting skill. You know, if anybody wants to hit me up, any uh, anybody needs a. God. An orgasm sound on some voice acting clips. <laughs> so let me know. If... <laughs> we were. T- <laughs> There's a lot of questions. I figure we'll we'll parse through them. Uh, you know, throughout the episode, sprinkle them in. Okay. Like a nice little, like you know, like sprinkles a on nice a, little on a nice break. Little, I like yeah, that. I like that exactly. Like a nice little interlude to the stuff that we're normally talking about. We don't really have a topic to really go through this time because things are just kind of weird right now and it seems like there's a lot of focus everywhere. I know there's a lot of people talking about the Onision stuff. Oh, yeah. I haven't really looked into that really at all. Yeah, sure. All I know is that Onision is a piece of shit, but that's yeah. like not surprising to anybody who even knows anything remotely about him. <laughs> How is he still relevant? Didn't he do like... Oh, he's extremely relevant right now. I don't now. get it. Like He still has like a good amount of subscribers too. Does he? I think so. He's, yeah. got, he's definitely got over a million. I know that for sure. Didn't he change it so people, in order to subscribe to his channel, they had to pay money? I'm pretty sure he did that. That's a thing. You can yeah. do that for YouTube. Yeah, I didn't know you can do that. It's it's definitely not ideal, mm. <laughs> right? Because you lose like pretty much everybody. Yeah. Oh shit. I I, I maybe I, I I didn't know. All I know that there's only two things I know that he was claiming everybody's videos that made videos about him or mentioning him to try mm. to siphon all the money. Yeah. And then I know he recently uh, had Chris Hansen come to his door. Like that happened where Chris Hansen actually went to his door to confront him and then. He got the police called on him. Can you imagine? You're just in your living room, and you hear a knock at the door, and it's fucking Chris Hansen. And he comes well, in one of his lines. Well, that's, hey, Chris Hansen. Uh, nice weather we're having, huh? <laughs> He's Can you, knocking uh, at your door. You want to take a seat? He's outside. Yeah. You want to take a seat? <laughs> you want to take a seat? It's weird. So, so there's a 9-11, and we don't even really talk about this, but I know I heard a little bit of the 9-11 call. Like, there was the, the, the Why do you say that? 9-11 call? Yeah. 9-1-1. 9-1. Why do you say 9-11 Did call? Did you say 9-11? Wait, it's the same fucking thing. 9-11 no, is 9/11 when planes is the, hit the fucking buildings in the, the city I live in. It's the same sequence of numbers. But 9-1-1 is 9-1-1. 9-11 is a date. 9-11 will fucking a date. save you time. Oh, my It'll God, call me. 9-11. <laughs> like, what? Call the freaking... Look, call it's nine, literally less syllables look, to say 911. 9-11 rolls off your tongue. 911 so are hard syllables. Hard syllables. Yes. Derek, can, what, what, Just like what, there's a hard R and there's a... <laughs> there's a hard R, then there's a soft there's R. There's a soft R. Remember just, the hard A? The hard, the hard, a, hard R and soft A, okay? There's a difference. I just think it's fascinating. I've never heard anybody refer to 911 as 9-11. Ever I, in my life. I probably... Don't say that either, and it just <laughs> came out wrong. I probably don't say that myself. Yeah, you know, yeah. There I'm, was a nine one one call yeah. that he made, and it's record. How did they get the recording of that? Um, I guess for some reason people are always able to get uh, dispatch calls. I don't know how they do it. I think you just request it or something. That's insane. Yeah, for some That's reason, power everything. Like when when that swatter uh, accidentally got that. Well, not accidentally got that dude killed or whatever. <laughs> You know, when that yeah. happened, people got that call immediately, and they got Swat. to hear what was uh, over the whatever game they were playing. I think Call of Duty. So the thing they got the call for an easy on, and it was I did hear it was kind of funny, like describing who it was, and then oh, it's Chris Hansen, <laughs> and it just sounds so absurd. It sounds like a comedy <laughs> sketch, like the way it ends, like exactly where you think it should. Yeah, it's it feels like it's written. It's like who's who's the person at the door? It's Chris Hansen. It's Chris Hansen. <laughs> like, oh, he's harassing me. Yeah, like the 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 odds of Chris Hansen. 
is in your in in your driveway. Those Correct. aren't. <laughs> that, those why, are not. It was, why did Chris Hansen? Well, did he have Chris Hansen come up there himself, or did Chris Hansen actually show up based on his duties? He, as being he Chris showed Hansen. up there based on his duties. <laughs> Well, he see, was like, the, hey, I, the interesting I, thing is, I know Chris said that he talked to his lawyers, he consulted his lawyers, everything he did was he's not he wouldn't get in trouble for it. So it kind of makes me believe that there was some prior contact or something. And I, uh, or something, there has to be something if he because you don't just show up to people's doorstep typically, but at the same time, there are journalists and reporters that do do that shit. So obviously, they're probably within their rights, kind of like a Jehovah's Witness you can come up to your door, but you have the right to tell them to piss off, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, okay, I feel you. I don't know. I don't know anything that Onision's done, really. I know that he has like weird. The only thing that I know is that like he has like a relationship. So he's this YouTuber. He's been around for a long ass time. For anybody who doesn't yeah. know, somehow, a while, yeah, Some long ass time, like ten, twelve, fifteen years probably. It, it, I feel like he's been around forever, and Eternal. he's been hated since the dawn of his channel existence. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't think there was ever a point in time where Onision was like a content creator that people admired, <laughs> really. Or that was like in favorable view to the public. I don't think that was that's ever been the case for he's him. He's really that guy, huh? Yeah, he's the guy that his fan base is pretty much uh, fourteen year old girls. Um, yeah, the and only people that are you know they're stupid enough to watch shit like that. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, they are the, the yeah. The and of the our apologies to any fourteen year old girls who <laughs> might be listening <laughs> no, to this no, somehow. Hey, you if you are if you are here, you're on the right track to uh, living um, a yeah. pretty decent life. Or at the very least, you're on like a, a wrong track that's a, a lot less wrong. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he, agreed. Yeah, agreed. We're, we're we're not great, but like he's I mean, not. No, good. we're not Onisia. Yeah. Like yeah. Onisia sounds like a whole other level compared to him. Like we're fucking gods. All right, compared to Onision, we're saints. Yeah. There we go. There Sparkling we go. specters. I, I think the general. I what the fuck is that? I don't care. <laughs> I think the general idea for him is like, it, I guess he has these like relationships where he has like these thirds that he brings in, but the thirds are always like younger, and like they. I think one of the people that he was in a relationship he had legal guardianship over of. Yes. Or something. Yes. Yes. There's some crazy shit. I haven't really looked that into it. So take all this with a pinch of salt. Yeah. There's a. There's like a. A million videos on Onision on YouTube right now that I don't even know where to begin. So I've just like, I've just thrown it like I'm done. I, I just don't care. I'm washing my hands. Much. Of it. There's too there's, much. There's too much. There's no um, need for that much. That one guy that uh, uh, Repsion, you, you know, uh, Daniel, right? Oh, yeah. He's been involved. He's he's, yeah. he's in the crossfires. And this is one of the reasons why he's getting a pass for making so many Onision videos. Yeah. Because he's directly involved. No, he makes um, sense. So otherwise, because I, I heard uh, I was watching one of those news channels. It, it might have been scarce because like oh shit, scarce is back, and then um, scarce has been gone for a while. Yeah, and then he, he'll 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 come back and, and and like pop up every once in a while. And he came, he was actually talking about that, and he said that I don't. I, I was watching something where somebody said uh, uh, Rep Scott has made over fifty videos, and I was like, how is there that much content about this guy? He's a he's like what what the what is he doing? And I do know what you did. You I, what you said is correct. I know. There was a girl that lived with Anision and Anision's boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't know because uh, they, they, the person changed the genders or some shit. So I don't know yeah. what to I, – I don't really know. I don't really know enough of what it what – uh, all I know is that there's allegations of grooming yeah. and some other dark shit. It gets crazy. Grooming? Yeah. 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 That's why Chris Hansen is at his door. Exactly. Chris Hansen doesn't show up at like – Chris Hansen isn't gonna show up at Keemstar's door because <laughs> Keemstar's an asshole. Like this, this is just not. Where he's like, Hi, I'm Chris Hansen. I he- I've heard you're kind of a dick. Like, like there's no, that's Damn. not gonna be the cir- the circumstance. Chris Hansen's like a fucking herald of like bad times. If he shows up, that means you've like you've done some Chris shit. Chris Hansen is a herald. He's an omen. Yeah. He shows up and you know things are going sour. When Chris Hansen shows up, you know the police are not very far behind him. No matter the context, when they're coming, they're that like, is such a haunting way to describe Chris Hansen. Real talk, and it's actually kind of weird though that I guess I don't know if something's gonna happen afterwards, but nothing has happened yet. And you think that when Chris Hansen gets involved, it's some serious shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, supposedly that he's been involved for a few months at least, because I've seen hell? I've seen back and I mean, like I said, tons of videos. I made a video on my second channel saying, because I don't give a fuck about talking about Anision, because there's people that kept asking, like, constantly, are you going to weigh in on this? And I, I just, like, my second channel, I have a fucking Spider-Man mask on, and I just <laughs> do stupid shit. I just fuck around. And so I just said, like, dude, I don't I don't want, I'm not talking about them for these reasons. Like, leave me alone, please. Yeah. And I, so, I have the same people who are like, are you going to make a video on Anision? It's like, I, maybe? I don't know. Because yeah. I, I can't find a concise video or a concise piece of information that you know 
is easy to research. It's all just like, there's so many videos on it. And I'm not going to sit through 50 hours of video content just to get a vague idea of what happened with this guy that I don't even care about. His, yeah. His you know? story is so fucking clouded. It's like a fucking Dracula or some shit. You just can't really figure <laughs> out like who or what he is yeah. or what he's done. So you're just like, I can't. We have to let him be for now. We can't. We can't <laughs> act yet. We don't have enough information on him. Yeah, I think. I think an easy on is try to bait me into talking about him a couple of times. Oh, really? Yeah, only because uh, this was a while ago, though. This was a while ago where I think he was really trying to get some of that clout from all the shit that was kind of booming that came off of like GamerGate and all of that shit. Mm. So then there would be a, a couple of videos. I know at least two times he was like watching uh, clips of my videos and reacting to it or something. And I think he was trying to hope me, hoping that I would respond. But mm -hmm. even since then, I just wasn't. He's not. In, he's not interesting enough to me because he's too easy. Like he's one of those jokes that like you can't even just press play and then that's the content. Like you, you don't need to say anything. What do you need to say about Onision? Everything he does is a, is just it, fucking. Yeah. It's a joke. It, it it's speaks, stupid. It speaks for itself. It value. really it does. Most, in most circumstances, like I had a good laugh because you went fucking nuts about when his Patreon got deleted. Yeah, no, that was fake. That really. was a, a fake reactions, but that's a, there's no reason to make a, a a video about that because he's putting on a show. Like that's all you have to do is watch you. that, watch that video. I don't need to react to it. The thing is, it's like I I'm aware that this is going to sound bad when I say it. Okay, but I don't really care that much. I adore when we get to a point where there's a person in society or on the internet or whatever that everybody agrees unanimously. Yes, bully this person. I love that. I agree. I love it because I think everybody <laughs> wants to bully someone. I think that's true. We all want I don't, we don't think like. that nobody on this planet feels like they want to just like, ah, oh, kumbaya, everybody, oh, love everyone. No, bullshit. That's why the planet is the way it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no there, there are certain people. No, go ahead. Yeah. You got, you got, so you got like when people like Caitlin Bennett. For example, the, the the gun girl, the Kent State gun girl. Oh, I didn't know that God. was her name. She's been going around oh, God, interviewing damn. people <laughs> and just getting completely owned by everybody that she interviews. She, she keeps going around pe asking people, like, do you think it's okay for people, for uh, the school to put, um, what is it, tampons in the men's, in the men's bathroom, bathroom for men's that right. have, men that right. have periods? And everybody around her is just like... Yeah, whatever. I don't yeah. care. Why would yeah. I give a fuck I about care. that? Yeah, so it's what? like, yeah, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly everybody's reaction. <laughs> like, like, yes, why? So? Why would that? How would that affect me in any way, shape, or form? I wouldn't like. I would be like, oh, that's okay. You yeah. know, I'd, I'd go and I'd piss and I'd leave. What if I have a fucking young daughter that has recently, you know, started her fucking shit, and I can go in my bathroom and yeah. get a fucking tampon for her? Yeah, it just seems yeah, that may be fantastic. Honestly, it just seems fine. Like, well, there's I, none in the girls' bathroom. Grab some from the men's bathroom. The yeah. whole thing. I, I don't even know why this is. I think. It's a sign of how strange things are right now that something as simple as n neutral bathrooms are political. Because, like, Dude, every bathroom in your house, in your apartment, probably, you know, like, that, those, are, those are those neutral bathrooms. Let, uh, and those well, are the best bathrooms. Yes. And, like, there's no reason. I don't know. Like, I, I get it, I guess. I, in I, the sense of, no. like, oh, things have been this way for a long time. Oh, why change it? But at the same time, it's like... This could be better. What's so change the, it. What's the? I don't know. I just don't see the issue. Well, it's see, weird. that's that's the thing that's been tripping me out the entire time because I would see people trip out about all gendered restrooms. Like there's signs now that says like all gendered. What I don't understand about that is since I've been going to the mall, there are unisex. It would say unisex. It's the same. It's literally the same thing. Just semantics. They change the fucking wording. That's yeah. it. Unisex. There's All no sexes can go in this fucking bathroom. Yeah, people were fine with unisex. Like nobody, and then, nobody but, had a problem with unisex. But then when bathroom. it says all gender, all of a sudden people are like, "What is this?" I'm like, "Dude, it's the same thing, just a different the name." Gen, the whole gender thing, man. It's like so. Far, oh my, it's so obnoxious now. Like just, just give up. All right, just let people do what they. I just don't care anymore. Uh, yeah, I think most I people so are just caring about. I think it. most sane people are at a point where they're just like, I, "Look, I don't give a shit." I was confused well, look, at first because like, so was, it was I. It was like the whole thing, like. The whole sex versus gender thing, and then like I clarified, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, there's sexes and then there's genders. That's that's genders what happened can to me. Be whatever the fuck they want, but then there's sexes. Some yeah. people are born sexes. Then you can be a transsexual yeah. and change your sex, 
or you can be. I think you can have both sexual organs. Yeah. Therefore, you're a combination that's, of the that's two. That's that's called I'm intersex not, now. That's intersex. Yeah. 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 But yeah. that's one thing, and but, then there's another gender thing, and the gender thing is kind well, of like whatever. The gender Look, man, thing I, is that's I, I don't know anything about this. Look, shit. it's it's, it's very weird. it's very simple to break it down. And this is where I got confused because so there was like a video like three years ago that I made, and, and I remember saying something like, uh, it, it was that tagline. There's only two genders. This was before I really understood the difference between sex and gender. Yeah. And so when I learned, okay, sex, male, female, that's it. That sex is biological. Gender is fucking huge spectrum. I understand that completely now. And and I see it in the same way I see religion. Like there is a bunch of religions. There's a bunch of genders. I think it's all stupid, but you can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, that's, a very, that's, that. that's a really good way of putting it actually. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's basically how I, so when I started thinking about it and, I realized, like, I'm I'm not really, there were some things I was definitely ignorant about, and then once I learned about it, I'm like, oh, okay, and then I don't give a fuck about it. it it's that simple. Wow, it's, it's if not, only it's, everyone could think like that and <laughs> just learn things correctly and figure out how they feel about it internally. Well, see, the fuck up thing, there's a lot of people. not tell anybody <laughs> about it. Just shut the fuck up. I don't <laughs> care what you feel or think. I can appreciate a lot. people Respectable. being yeah. real about shit, man. Like in, instead of just being like, you, you know, you know, there's people I'm talking about. They just, they just then. They, oh yeah, plenty of people just yeah. go along with like whatever the hell. Like that fucking that, that uh, gun girl, dude. Like that that well, actually, that's not a good example. No, she's but, genuinely but, dumb. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> circling back to her, holy dumb, dumb, shit, dumb. I re- I do genuinely believe that she is. Um, she is. I mean, how do I say this nicely? You she's, don't have to. She's uh. She's, well, she she's. One of the most functioning retards I've ever seen in my life. High functioning, dog. <laughs> like, like in the stratosphere and shit. Definitely, <laughs> like she she functions. She's not considered, I guess, disabled, mentally disabled, but she is. It's how could you, <laughs> how could you put those videos out? I don't understand people. She that, looks dumb in them. Uh, like that's the thing. It's like if so I dumb. if I went out and did that, I would look at that footage and I'd be like, I look dumb in this. Yeah, there's no way I'm, I'm not this gonna out. I'm not gonna put this out. There's 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 a video of her just looking stupid and being proven to be stupid constantly. Yeah, and then she put I don't know what was the point. I guess she's doing it just to like. Just I mean, be, she's doing it for attention, there. obviously. Yeah, yeah, but like, but I I don't know. Like, I feel completely fine bullying that person, <laughs> and that's what the whole point of this was. Yes, bullying is kind of nice. It, it kind it, of is. It sometimes it it you works. Know, I, listen, man. It, it feels good to put people down sometimes. It's like <laughs> it's like fucked up to say, because I feel like a fucking demon when I say it. You shouldn't do it, but there are exceptions <laughs> to every rule. But there's man. But what happens, we were we were like for the last couple like I think week or so. Yeah, we've been on this kick oh where we've just God. been watching <laughs> videos on 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 YouTube <laughs> of people. Just being super heartless to kids on Xbox Live, <laughs> and it's it's horrible. It's nostalgia, it's, though. It is nostalgic it a little is. bit, but it's also like it's terrible. It's like, oh man, they're just th- these adults or like you know, teenagers are just being complete shitheads to this kid. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, a crying kid on Xbox Live is one of the funniest things <laughs> it's... that you'll ever hear because it's just. I think it's because you see yourself in it. Yeah, like you I was remember, there. you remember what it was like to take things that personally. Yeah, yeah, I remember being. A kid. Yes, I, that's a good point, dude. dude. Yeah, oh my so God. it's like cathartic. It's like you're laughing at yourself, but not really. You're laughing at this poor child. Dude. Dude. He did nothing He's wrong. A vessel to you. for your old memory. That's <laughs> Basically. pretty much all he is. But these kids, they need this shit, man. I saw a meme recently, and and it was so true to me. Uh, this guy had a car, um, his car. He had all these decals on it. Bunch of nerdy ass shit. I can't remember everything that was on it, but like, you know, like Naruto and all this type of stuff. Like, just way too much shit. Like, okay, I have an N7 sticker that I put on every single car I own. That's it. It's just going to be N7. It's It looks cool. You don't know exactly what it is if you don't, you're not a fan. It, it's cool. Whatever. Now, all of just putting, you see, you know, those people, you see those people that have everything on their car, like everything. Yeah. You're like, look, a few decals here and there look cool. It's like their car is their room. Yeah. And then so I saw a meme and then like somebody, it was a Snapchat and then they, they text. It said, this this person didn't get bullied enough. Like there, there's a, there's a, there's, <laughs> there's some, you need to be kind of checked. And that's what I'm saying about these Xbox kids. All these fucking kids on Xbox Live, they need to be checked because they're going to grow up being fucking really stupid. You need to learn that like you're just a dumbass kid, dude. Chill out. Yeah. Because they don't that's think that. That's the problem that. with kids. They're just fucking idiots. And they don't know they're idiots. Yeah. They don't get bullied It's mind They need to get checked. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I've often talked to children and they're just stupid. They're well, just I actually mean, they're, stupid. Yeah, well, they're stupid. They're but kids. they think they're not, they really don't have any but clue. That's they're what stupid. being a kid is. Yeah, being I knew a... I was a dumb kid because there was shit I knew that just out there I just couldn't understand or explain. 
And I was like, I'm, I don't know this. I'm going to still do dumb shit. Because, like, I don't have time to focus on shit I don't understand. So I would do bad shit that yes. was dumb. But, like, these kids are, like, they have, like, the internet, and they get, like, these half ends from the internet, and they're like, oh, I know this. And it's like, no, you know what Wikipedia told you, you <laughs> fucking imp. You don't know shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> All I know is that like those videos are some of my favorite videos. Yo, they're really were... mean and like they probably should not be on the site, really. But like, I, I mean, don't know, I guess man. now with the new fucking rules, right? There yeah, was... <laughs> I don't know. There was... I ha- I'm of two minds about it because I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want people to, I don't want there to be a financial incentive for people to just like go out and bully kids yeah. because it used to be just people just, just being mean. Yeah. For for just for just for their pleasure. <laughs> it's fucking fantastic. But now it's like <laughs> kind of like, oh, you could be mean to somebody and then upload it to YouTube. And then, like, they get money for it. Okay, that's sort of <laughs> fucked up. It's so like, that's it's like, like a paid bully. Yeah, the incentive. Yeah, yeah that's that's up. different. But I do think there was some kind of magic with the original Xbox Live, and I don't know if it happened as much on PSN. It I assume Xbox. it did. Xbox was like the, the hot spot for all. Xbox players. Live was just a hot spot of shit that you would hear such horrible shit on Xbox Live, and it would just temper you. It would yeah. just make you into this person who could just handle shit there's a reason why everyone in our house can say anything to each other and we'll laugh it off yeah because yeah. we were all, like the amount of times i was called the n-word on the xbox without anyone having any i don't particularly sound like a black man you don't have the no, the, no, no. you don't no, have no, the don't uh have black accent as they I don't say have the black, yeah i don't have that but like people would call me the n-word for no reason <laughs> they just feel all. it they just they're like they <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait you, a minute. You getting that? Is that cocoa butter? You're an N-word, aren't you? <laughs> like, they would call me, I've been called, people, some dude said things about having sex with my mom, and I'm like, you're in fucking Finland. How are you fucking my mom, dude? <laughs> it's the meanest shit. And then, like, not looking back on it, even then it was kind of funny. Yeah. But, like, now oh, yeah. it's just hilarious. Because we went on Call of Duty for, like, two hours, remember? And within that short period of time of being on Call of Duty, the newest one with our roommate, it Dude, was back. It these, was all back. Yeah, the, uh, one of our roommates got, I think, the most recent. It's Modern Warfare, right? This is the new one? Yeah. 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 He got Modern Warfare. <laughs> and I walked into his room. This is like the day it launched or like two days after it launched. I walked into his room. I was like, oh, you're playing Call, new Call of Duty? How is it? He's like, yeah, it's pretty good. And then immediately over the voice chat, I just heard the N-word <laughs> blasted. <laughs> Like a fucking bop, <laughs> like fucking like like that's a like Team Star and that famous fucking uh his famous rant. You remember that shit? Dude, yeah, that shit's nuts. That dude, shit's dude, legendary. Dude. I think I it was like <laughs> so many n words just thrown around in a game of Call of Duty. I felt like like there were as many n words in that match as there were Old Town Road remixes. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> ridiculous! It was a lot, dude. Fast, like quick, fast, in a hurry. They got to get this word out on the fucking press. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, and that's fucked because like I I I think I know right deep down on every level that everybody who is online saying this shit isn't really racist. No, they're not. They're not. They're just, they're just saying, saying it to hurt we, somebody. Yeah, they're just saying the worst word shit. Too much power. I don't even think it's necessarily that. I think it's just you have words that you know you can't say. Absolutely. And that makes them it's like prohibition almost. Well, that's right? what I'm saying. When you see a word that you can't say, and even if somebody's not racist, even if they have a little bit of a temper, <laughs> they could be like, what is something that I can say that will hurt? Yeah, your lizard and brain just, immediately yeah. defaults to that. Immediately. It's so bad because that word is just, even aside from the horrible history it has, that word is said and it quiets a room. If you walk into a movie theater and you scream that <laughs> word, and you scream that word as loud as you can, people are going to get up and leave that movie even though they paid for that shit. Because they're like, I can't be around this energy right now. Yeah. Because what if one person says it and another person's like, yeah, he says it too. Especially if, <laughs> if, if you see it's a white guy doing it. Like, you're like, fuck, I don't, I don't want anything to do with this. <laughs> this guy's dangerous. You're like, you immediately know, uncomfortable. No, one, like, yeah. no, one's, no white man that's okay says that word out loud in public. It's it's that's fucking suicide, bro. Tam- that's not someone that's not afraid of the consequences yeah. they're about to experience. Yeah, you, you got to stay away from that person. They fucking give zero fucks, and they're probably gonna shoot somebody up right now. <laughs> yeah. pro- they're probably baiting you <laughs> into being gunned down. Engage me, engage me. That <laughs> kill you. <laughs> that's the kind of person who would walk up to a dog on like a like on a leash tied to a pole while their owner is inside getting coffee or something, and just cut the rope for no reason. <laughs> 
goodness. And just and just continue walking in public in view of everybody because he knows that. Like what it the doesn't fuck matter. are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna get the dog back? You're not gonna chase that dog. You're busy. You that, got a day. You got a you got that a job dog to go is to. Gone. Oh man, it's a lot of traffic coming. Oh, Hope man. that dog can dodge all those damn cars. <laughs> <laughs> Hope that oh. dog's really good at Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord! Madness, yeah, when are we gonna get a Frogger remaster, bro? Like, god damn. H- HD remake Frogger. Can, can you Frogger imagine? doesn't need to be remastered. No, yeah, I, I don't. Can, can you imagine? Like, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, who, who the fuck? No one asked for this, and, and there's no, there's absolutely no reason. But what if it looked like Grand Theft Auto, and you're dodging traffic? What if? <laughs> so what if Frogger frog. came out? Like Grand Theft what Auto. if <laughs> the next gen starts, and the best looking game of the next generation is fucking Frogger? And it's like, wow, that frog looks real. You can see the muscles underneath its translucent skin moving with every hop. Wow, that is a genuine Ford Focus model 2002. <laughs> I can tell what that car is. Yeah, I can tell what that car is. That's a fucking Nissan Altima. I can see the cracks in the ground and how they slowly disrupt his speed when he hops. That's insane. Oh, wow, a little bit of wind mechanics. He can't jump as far. I'd be like, what the f- I might actually, you're making it, you're actually making it sound kind of cool. Making a case for I this I might game. actually want to play that. I don't know. I don't know if I would, I would get, I, I'd definitely watch you play it for a little while and then I'd be like, this 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 has to be got. I'm, I'm gonna go on venture for this. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it works. You ever you always see shit that other people are playing, and you're like, you just like, oh, maybe I'll play that. That was definitely how it used to be when I was a kid. I would have to see my cousins. So I think my cousin was playing Halo too, and I was like, you can fly and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're not prohibiting you to only one, dude. Man, that was a big thing at the time. Like that blew my mind. When I found out that in Halo One, you could be playing a first person shooter and then suddenly be playing fucking Jedi Starfighter. Like, just by going into a this fucking vehicle, I was like, what? That's possible? Excuse me? Because usually that's like, you know, there's a vehicle section of a level, and then there's like, okay. you're on point. Yeah. yeah it's re- it's really pretty, strange. That game means a lot to me, actually. You are stupid. Our next Ouch. question <laughs> comes from Tragician, I think is what that says. Nice. You, you people with your names, man. Speed Say, bomb. how do you all meet, and when did you realize that you would really stick with each other and what are you going to do with all these hard-earned Patreon bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the second one's just going to f- making sure the podcast is good and like yeah. getting like I know we need to get pop filters because there was a couple peas that popped in uh, the last episode that I want to get fixed. Uh-huh. But it's really just uh, I I hope to get to a point where we can start doing video. Yeah, um, that's the goal. That is the goal, uh, which is expensive because you got to get cameras. You can't really use the cameras that I use and that Derek uses really can't be used for podcasts because they're DSLRs and they yeah. shut off after a certain amount of time. Yeah. I think to avoid, I think that's all due to avoid taxes literally for the company. <laughs> I think I read something that says like, if you have a camera that can record video, but not for a long period of time, it doesn't count as a video camera and is taxed differently. Interesting. Interesting. I, I think even, literally, I, I even know that. I th- that might be total bullshit, but I heard it and I think that's kind of cool. It makes sense. Everything's usually money driven. There's always, there's always a reason why. And the reason usually is, Funds. Yeah, yeah, literally, it's always money. I, <laughs> right. I believe it. But yeah, so we're gonna save up for some some cameras uh, that record for a long time. I know exactly the cam- the cameras that we need, so we're just gonna save up for those. Get a little setup. Uh, one of our roommates is moving soon, which means uh, we'll have extra space to set up a little uh, permanent recording area. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be way easier, and then you guys will get even more shit for your buck. But buck. Uh, how did you all meet? I met you in, in college. Yeah, I met you in college. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we, I think we met, I think we were just following each other, right? Or something, something like that. I, I know that, because uh, I haven't done this in a long time, but I, I used to check when, my, when, when the subscribers were pouring in, I used to check and see who was following me, and it would be like the top first, and then it would work its way down. Yeah. And I remember you were at like 80K, dude, and I saw, I was like, oh, who's, like, who is this? And then I watched your shit, and I was like, I was surprised you you somehow like stumbled upon me first before I stumbled upon you. Mm-hmm. Followed you, we started following each other, and then it got to a point where, I think in 2017 when I came back from Greece, like we collabed pretty soon after that. Yeah, yeah. For a shitty fucking Q and A. Yeah, <laughs> I remember watching that video and I was like, oh, that's cute. That was the burger place, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to this place called G Burger. That was my first meeting. That was, my first interaction with you was on camera, technically. Oh yeah, yeah. It Isn't that was. weird. That like I hadn't weird. met you actually before that video came out, and that's you recorded weird. you meeting me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's incredibly weird. That that almost happened to me uh, just a few days ago, where I 
I always tell people like, hey, shoot your shot in the DMs. Like if you uh, like working with somebody, you never know if they're going to answer or not. Yeah. So I, I, I DM this dude, uh, Xavier Woods or uh, Austin Creed or whatever. He has his uh, gaming channel called Up Up Down Down. He's uh, uh, a WWE wrestler. So he's like fucking big, you know. And I was like, hey, man, if, if you're going to be in the area, because I know PAX uh, uh, was, was going to be going on. And, it, and I was like, if you're going to be in the area, like, let's let's collab. Let's go to fucking round one. So, like, yeah, man, OK. And then, like, we exchanged numbers. But then he got too busy. But I was just like, what the fuck? That would have been too weird. And I kind of didn't want to do it because mm-hmm. yeah. our first interaction would be like, I'm going to turn on a camera and let's interact with each other. What the fuck is that shit? Yeah. It's yeah. a little strange. Yeah. Because yeah, there's always a chance that that just does not go well. Yeah. yeah. I've definitely don't. done that at least once where, like, I've I've done videos with someone or like we recorded something and just the inner the chemistry was not there at all and i was like i'm just not gonna put this out that's weird (laughs) because there's no no purpose yeah i uh, i think i met derek when um it was vidcon 2017 when you guys came back to the pad it was you so the episode the day you broke the bottle over that uh girl's head and then bunty it was like the freaking fake like um (laughs) Breakaway glass bottle. Yeah, that, yeah. That was like, the sugar <laughs> glass bottles. Yeah. I, was like, I didn't want you to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> As I met you, that was Kisara, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, it was Kisara Vera. Yeah, which called, that's when we all met, and I met Chris. I remember it was one day we were um I was at one of my other friends' house, which was our roommate now, and we were all talking about um we were all talking about how you ex- how excited you were for Destiny. You've been excited for Destiny for like a decade now. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that shit looks pretty dope, and I made a stupid comment about fucking um. A comment about like how they look like elites to me, and you were like, they don't look like fucking elites, all right? You ever seen what an elite looks like? You fucking idiot! And I was just like, this guy's this guy's tripping right now. <laughs> this guy's actually fucking tripping right now. I don't remember that, but you it got sounds so accurate. you got so passionate, and I was like, all right, well, I guess they don't. <laughs> and you just taught me about Halo, and I was like, I'm not gonna say that ever again because this kid almost dr- downed me for saying something so stupid. <laughs> and I was like freshman, and I was like. Um. Wait. When was that? This it was, was like, like 20, 2012 or twenty thirteen. Really? Was it twenty eleven? No. 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 Twenty twelve. Because that's when I was in college. Yeah. 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 Uh, was yeah. that? Was that? Were you like? Well, how far into college? I was the beginning. The very beginning, beginning of yeah. college. Yeah. I was like I eighteen. Was, I was a year in. Yeah. Uh, okay. Eighteen. We were. Oh, you're a fucking young buck, man. Yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, you're a bit older than I am. Yeah. Which is weird. I, I even though I look like I'm in high school still, which <laughs> yeah. is hilarious. I fucking I, I I hate it, bro. I I really don't like looking. Count your young. blessings, man. That's I, gonna come in handy in a couple. It years. will later, but right now, like uh, I, I'll just say this: women my age, you know, I'm I'm 31. That's so uh, fucking weird. You're 31 years old. That's yeah, insane. Yeah, and women my age, they look at me like say if we don't know each other, like I'm fucking in high school. Like, what are you even doing here? You know? I feel that. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, I it, look. I look. I have, I'm weird because I have a, I'm big, but my face doesn't look very aged. So when I have facial hair, I look like a, just a, a, a like a youngish kid with a bunch of like gross facial hair. <laughs> That's it. You look yeah. like the you, you know I couldn't place your age if I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, you know you could be twenty eight or twenty one for real. <laughs> exactly. yeah. I, I just, it's weird. I get that all the time. It's like how old are you? It's like uh, I'm like twenty six, and they're like, no, you're not. I'm like, oh, I am. <laughs> I, I am. I swear. Actually, I'm not even twenty six. I'm twenty five. How do you, I don't even fucking how do you, know. How the fuck? How do you get that wrong? Because I stopped caring about my age when I was like twenty. I mean, Grant, I I agree. I actually, you know, I, the I other, don't give yeah, a yeah, okay, flaming. Fair fuck. enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, there's really no reason to care. Yeah, I, for, I forgot that. I was thirty one for a minute. I uh, <laughs> like not too long ago. So when I enough. hit thirty, I'll be like, whoa, sick. I'm thirty now. Use coke or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I'm like thirty I'm is thirty is <laughs> thirty is the coke year, dude. Yeah. When you, when you turn thirty, things. Uh, a lot of things go off in your mind about like legacy and what what you've been doing. It's fucked. Yeah, it really it really makes that's already sense. going off in my head. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> started for me at twenty five. Yeah, dude, you guys are too fucking young for that shit, bro. Like, I'm serious. So, okay, sorry, old head boomer. <laughs> I, sorry, boomer. I know, <laughs> I know. I saw like I'm fucking in my fifties or some shit. You better make sure you you get a family and you establish yourself, right? Yeah. Dude, you, you have a family. You start thinking about that shit though, man. Like I, I think about that sometimes already. Yeah, I think about that already too. I was like, I gotta get married before I'm thirty. That was, that's the, like literally a thing that I think, and I'm like, I don't know if I do. I want to do that really. <laughs> like, probably like, not. Is my body telling me this? Is my heart telling well, see, me this? Thing, my body's telling me this shit now. Because me, I'm like, I ain't fucking ready for nothing right now. But I, have this, I just feel this thing. I feel this thing now. Like how bitches will be like, oh, I need to have a kid, 
Dude, it happens to dudes too. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll see these dumb. I'll see a dumbass little fucking like daughter. I was watching. Um, <laughs> I'll see a dumbass little daughter. <laughs> you daughter, you uh, dumb daughter. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching this like twenty minute thing about Chuck Liddell um, when the UFC when he was mm-hmm. like huge, and then after he retired, it showed him playing with his kids, and I was like, man, that looks nice. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the? Yeah, I'll catch myself like. I can't believe I'm feeling this shit, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't want that shit at all right now. But there's a feeling that's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you do. Don't fuck, don't fuck around. Yeah, you don't do. Don't lie. You want a you young. Yeah. <laughs> you want a young. You want a young. It's freaky, it's man. It's weird, dude. I really, I really would love kids, but I'm so terrified at, like, what kind of parent I'll be. Because I was, I'm, I was like, in between, like, the, like, very strict, like, like, Caribbean, Hispanic, like, upbringing. But then at the same time, when I got a little older, my grandmother kind of like chilled out with me. And like, I don't know how I just can't discipline children. I just don't have the ability in my heart to like be stern with them at all. Yeah, I think it's, it's just weird. I couldn't raise one. I couldn't. Fuck it. I'd leave it. <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd, fuck, I'd abandon it. I, I think like the weird thing is like I my biggest fear is that like I don't like the idea of a thing that is here purely because of me. That it that does its own thing completely independently of what eventually, I have to say. Eventually, it's no longer a part of you. It's, it's its own entity. It just entirely. freaks me out. Yeah. Imagine like just imagine if that kid just becomes like Ayatollah Khomeini, you know? <laughs> oh, or, or like or like <laughs> just <laughs> Charles Manson or something. It's like it's, I swear, I, I swear, to. I didn't mean to do that. You it's know, and then you totally can't possible, and you gotta feel like but, some but, level but, of responsibility. But the thing for is that. that it's not only yours; it's yours and someone else. So you can put the blame on someone else. Yeah, yeah, but like you know, in your heart of hearts, <laughs> you're like, that, like, like if you just didn't do that, <laughs> or like, that wouldn't happen. Or like, what if it's the worst traits of you and the person you were with? Yeah, so your kid is just the worst part. Like me, I have, I have a even pretty, shorter. I have a pretty. Oh man, that'd be bad. <laughs> that'd be for bad. You. That'd be bad. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have a kid with a, a like a like a six foot. Six have her at least be. Two. Just have her be five ten. A girl that's five ten will produce like a six four fucking. Yeah, I feel dude. like it's true. I mean, maybe. Like, yeah, I'm sure that's I've true. I've seen, I've seen a lot, bro. I've seen a lot. <laughs> like, I've, I've seen like. I don't know how I this mean, normal happened. people can have midget kids. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm, I'm like, serious. I'm but serious. that's usually because either there was a it's, a, it's, it's a, d- a, a thing in their in their DNA that there was they're already pre uh, expo- uh, disposed to. Or what, wait, expo- it doesn't disposed. matter. Disposed. Yeah, whatever. Whatever I'm trying to say, or they fucked around while they were pregnant. You know, like I'm that. Fucked. Um, and like, my wife let a midget fuck. I would. I would <laughs> yeah. erupt. I I'd, would lose my. I'd be like, you need to go far away from me. I'll be real. I don't even know. If, I don't even know if what I just said was true. <laughs> do I don't mean? know if that's true. I don't, I don't know if normal like, people can have midget kids well, or midget. The, the midget thing is that normal the first, the kids. All first, I know is that I saw a Seinfeld episode where that was true. Oh, oh so and you're basing off a side. Yeah, okay, literally. <laughs> well, you know, I the, thought about. I thought about like where did I get that information from? And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> well, humans <laughs> weren't midgets first, and then they. I mean, humans weren't little people first, and then they became little. Oh, yeah, people. that's right. That's not like a good term. So yeah, like, around, whatever. So like, I, there have to be like, is this just a? I think it's just like a defect. Yeah, it's it is. You it's know, born as, a pee wee. As as as, uh, as uh, offensive as that may sound to a a, a little person. I'm it, sorry. It, it is it is a defect. So no offense. Like you can you can have like something happens. You could actually drink like a motherfucker and do drugs, and then you can possibly have uh, you know either you know all the other all of the, the any typical, number of things. yeah. Or you have a peewee kid. Yeah, that's so a lot of things. I'd rather have a peewee kid, honestly, than <laughs> the disabled kid. Than most than most other things. Yeah, I like how we just totally like. You'd be like Peter Dinklage, man. I would love to have a peewee stud. kid because that would be so. I would have so much fun with that child. Like we would go on the coolest dad and son adventures ever. Like my son would be like, my dad's cool. He'd be like he Lord of the Rings. In, like exactly. <laughs> I put him on my shoulder and we like he like stands on my shoulder and like points directions for me. And I'm like, got it. We'll go there. Don't worry. <laughs> I get like a pretty big dog. And he rides the dog. I like, guess his warhound or some shit like that. That'd be fucking amazing. It's it's th- this answers the first part of your question, <laughs> right here. Is like how did you know that you would you would really stick? Is <laughs> because these are the conversations that have been happening constantly every time we we get together. Yeah, and it, it just happens out. pretty naturally. And I think I noticed immediately, like whenever we would do those annual uh, Twitter trashes. Oh yeah, that people just really like that shit. Yeah, and it made no sense not to just do it. Yeah, more often. I think I learned when um when me you uh me Chris Derek and Bunty we hung out one day. And that whole day you were laughing for fucking hours nonstop. And I was like, this is good. This is yeah. good. These guys, I don't have a problem talking to at all. Yeah. It's like one of those things where um, I feel like you guys are 
uh, homies. Like you got, I would have easily gravitated towards you guys if, if I would have been in the same area in the same vicinity if I grew up in New York around gotcha. you guys. That would have happened because my friends that I uh, grew up with were very similar. Gotcha. Um, very filthy minded <laughs> individuals. Very like horrible, horrible like human beings. You would think, you know, just because of the type of shit that comes out of our mouths. But you know, all good people. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I feel it. Yeah, I think for the most part. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty human. I'm pretty human. I mean, my bar is pretty, my bar is pretty high for like you have to do some really horrible shit. What I mean, you like, gotta be bad. You have to be, be like, really, because I mean, okay, I grew up in this Hispanic neighborhood, and a lot of there was a lot okay, of cholos. Chill. We're, we're, we're both Hispanic. Get to okay, pace, pace but, yourself. But here, <laughs> hey, this is a real thing. This is a lot. This is a, there was a lot of cholos there. I feel you. And yeah. a lot of them did horrible things. This guy that I knew, you know, he 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 killed a guy. Oh. Went to jail for 11 years, came out, and he seems like a pretty cool dude to me. You know what I mean? Even though he I mean, killed shit someone. Happens, bro. I would be terrified. Yeah. Of that. That's the one thing where I was like, ah, you know. There was, uh, uh, I, I'm not even going to say the gang names, but there was just two rival gangs, and I knew some of them pretty well. They seemed like really nice dudes, but they were killing people. So, like, I don't have my. St- I, I know, I know, I have been, I've sat down with people and played Smash Bros. with people that are literally monsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've sat down, I've hung out, I've been, they've cooked for me, I've been, like, really cool friends with bad, bad people. It is. But they've just only shown me kindness, so who am I to say they're really that bad? Yeah, things, yeah. things are complicated, yeah, because real. everybody's, everybody's opinion is shaped by their personal experience of a person. Yes. Yeah, very And true. if, like, you, even if you had, like, all the facts, you would, you, you still would have to view it through the lens of somebody. Of you. Who's of you, been, of yeah. you. Uh, so it is, yeah, I get, I get, there's only, like, I have just, uh, I feel like a reasonable couple of lines i think if you kill somebody i have to really evaluate you if, you know if you kill somebody think, it depends on why you did it but like, the yeah intent. that's the thing it's like the there's intent. self-defense yeah, and yeah. like there's you know if you're a soldier or whatever yeah um, but for some reason gang culture kind of gets a pass a little bit that's the thing that's weird with me because yeah, like me, if, if you see true. like this a normal fucking like like say if it was one of those uh like columbine type of people then so you'd be like oh fuck that guy but then there's like a thug that's just like smoke somebody in the rival gang, and you're like, yeah. What well, the it, thing it, about the difference to me and the Columbine guys is that the people from Columbine did that shit for no good fucking reason. It was mass murder for like. Well, gangs don't really have a good reason either. It's they, 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 they don't have a good don't, reason. <laughs> they don't have a good reason. Like, they're, I'm not they're, condoning they're, it. Like the gangs do it for the reason that the other gangs do it, and it's to defend themselves against the other gangs, gangs who yeah. would do it if they didn't do it. I like guess. that's literally so the it, reason. It's a, it's a standstill until someone acts and does something. Then it's like, all right, then you started this whole problem. Yeah. So like with with a Columbine kid, he's just like, "Hey, Brad, uh, what are you doing with your little Mario backpack? What are you gonna go home and play Sonic Boom on the Nintendo uh, 3DS or whatever the fuck? Oh, you pussy!" And then he comes to school tomorrow with a fucking AK and a fucking bunch of C four liquid. Fucking drenches the place. Like there's no good reason. Drenches, yo. Drenched with bullets. I knew a guy that probably <laughs> falling off of him. I knew a guy that if we didn't, you know, if we kept, if we continued to bully him, he would have done something. And the thing is, look, it, it, why the bullying even took place? Because I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not a bully, but I did do some bullying, right? Who, who I didn't, think everybody honestly. did yeah, because honestly. everybody was a kid. But this everybody guy, was everyone was bullied a little bit. So everybody, like, it's just, it's just a it's a very bad vicious cycle. It's yeah. true. If you're like, I was bullied a little bit. And then, like, I started fighting people. And then, like, I was like, oh, shit. This feels good. Yeah. And I started bullying people a little bit. And I was like, oh, this is not what's happening. I'll be real. Like, I'm super glad that I had bullies. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Perspective. Makes you a harder person, too. Yeah. It really hardens you. Yeah, because I think I, I had it pretty good for the most part. You know. I I got beat up, like, twice in my life. When you hear about the type of shit... I've never I I I fought the same guy twice. Well, I got in one fight because we were playing touch football, and the guy tackled me, and then I went like I got really mad when he when I tried to get up and he pushed me down again, so we fought. Uh, and then there was this guy, super nerd, right, super duper nerd. And and the thing is, it just kept it just it was circumstantial. People kept cutting it in front of him to get uh, drink water after we ran the half mile, and uh, this big dude named Jerry was like. Here you go, Derek. He pushes him, and then he does the whole gentleman like, "Here you go, sir." And I'm walking up like laughing, like, "Thank you," you know, being like, "Like we're gentlemen." So that nerd takes it out on me. I didn't do it. I didn't push him. Did he bring it, the strap, Jerry. <laughs> fucking. So he took it out on me. Tried to give me a headlock. I hit him three times. He fell, and then I was like, "Fuck! I gotta get out of here. I don't want to get suspended." The same fucking day, because I used to get rides from this guy named Wesley home from school. I was like, "Oh, Wesley's not here today." Um, um. Uh, but my my boy uh, 
uh, this dude's name was Bradley. Like Bradley, uh, Bradley will could pick you up. After I just fought the guy, I got a ride home from him. It was so fucking weird. <laughs> and he didn't say anything. That and is weird. Two years later, this was sixth grade. Two years later, in eighth grade, um, he started getting a little hostile and started talking a lot of shit and saying racist stuff. The same way that you'd use the buzzwords to piss people off. Yeah, yeah. Like he'd be like, shut up before I slap you back to Africa, you whatever. And I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, <And> whoa. <laughs> but the thing is, it was kind of funny showing that he was like this, his vigor, it was, it was kind of hilarious. We kind of liked it. So for a while, we were like, um, he'd be trying to ride his bike home. Like he'd be on uh, on the track, and then I'd be trying to throw my football at him as he's riding. <laughs> like, so fun. It was kind of a, a like a thing. He would talk shit, and I would try to throw my football at him. One day it's I like got a rivalry. Ahead. Yeah. One day <laughs> I got ahead of him. <laughs> I got ahead of him. I hid in a bush, and as he was like riding his bike, kind of coast is clear. I rose like a fucking phoenix, and I threw the ball at him. <laughs> and there was a bunch of people watching. And so he tried to get me a headlock again. And I was like, oh, shit, here we go. Classic. And then I fucking, I just threw him down because he's like, he, he's, he's soft. He was dough. <laughs> and then I just, I threw him down. I grabbed my football and I saw everyone was laughing. And I guess when I was picking up the football, when he got up on the ground, he did some crazy like kung fu shit, like waving his arms around like he was ready to destroy me. And everyone was laughing at him. And I was like, dude, I didn't, I, this wasn't supposed to happen. The 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 the, the president of the school, the this chick, uh, Michelle, she was like, how sad like why would you do that and i was like i didn't fuck dude this was it was just a game of like he talks shit i throw a ball at him Cat and then mouse. it turned into <laughs> me being the biggest piece of shit ever and um but yeah it didn't continue after that and i feel like if it would have he would have definitely killed everybody in our high school because he was yeah, that type got, of person you gotta calm down when you pick like you gotta you gotta choose who you pick on because some the the quiet kid that sits in the back of the class and wears trench coats in the summer you can tell like <laughs> <laughs> he's already predisposed. Like if he's scrawny, white glasses, I, and gets angry, and then he mutters under his voice, you gotta you gotta watch out for him, man. Bro. Yeah, it They're sounds dangerous. really dangerous. Yeah, what I you're know. describing yeah. that yeah. was dude, that <laughs> yeah. was him with the, that was him without the trench coat. I remember being in a, I had him in like algebra two, and this guy was he was so angry. I was like, dude, I gotta get out of this class. He's gonna like kill every. I swear, like. There was a point in algebra two in the second semester where we were doing something so absurd that you would never use ever. You know, yeah, yeah, it was one of those things. Of he course. was so mad. I was like, dude, I got I, I I it was one of the things that helped me leave. I was like, I'm getting the fuck out of this classroom because I I literally think he's going to kill people because he, he was so just angry for no reason. I mean, I get it. Yeah. Math is fucking retarded. Oh, yeah, it sucks. But it was just like <laughs> it was just one of those things. Where I'm like, dude, come on. In, in through your nose, out through your I mouth. I feel like in that concoction. You know, it's quiet, sits at the back of the class, wears a trench coat. I feel like the trench coat is carrying a lot of that, <laughs> carrying a lot of the percentage <laughs> there. I don't think any of <laughs> you see somebody in a trench coat, regardless of whether or not they're quiet and they sit back in, in the back of the class. Yeah, trench and coat you're definitely, like, it's, it, like it, it's the biggest statement. They exist to hide things. Yeah. Like, that's their entire purpose it's, is to conceal really is. things that could not be concealed with normal clothes. <laughs> the reason why trench coats go so low is because they're meant to conceal fucking rifles and very shotguns long and guns. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> like if some kid some I know some kid had like it's not at my school. I was not at my school, it was at your school. There was some kid who had like big curly hair and he wore a trench coat. And I remember one time I was just playing like I was hanging out I near him. Jay and I saw him and I felt dread. <laughs> I felt like <laughs> fear and I was like, I'm gonna start walking home. Four miles away because this guy He's a is doom. <laughs> this guy is, and he looked around a lot. And I was like, oh, man. He looked around a lot. I was like, oh, man, this is it. <laughs> this is awesome. Eyes. So <laughs> interjection here. Yeah. Sam Fletcher wrote in, uh, would you rather be addicted to crack or be a furry? It's easy for me. Is it easy for easy, you? Yeah. What is the choice for you? For, uh, no, no, crack. Ooh. Crack. Oh, you almost went yeah. furry, bro. You Freudian slipped. I almost, I almost said furries are something very terrible. I almost said like a, a terrible phrase. Okay, and I stopped uh -huh. myself because I didn't want to get this. You would rather be life. addicted to crack? Absolutely. I don't know if I want to be addicted to anything because, although crack, I guess if you're a furry, you're kind of addicted you're kind to of addicted being, being a fucking furry. weird. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm glad someone else understands that. Look, look, man, look. I don't get look. Personal experience time. Now. Okay, oh personal shit! Experience time. Personal experience. You have a personal experience with a furry? About furries? No way. No, you no. Do. Personal like personal feelings. Okay. Like, okay. Moment. Okay. okay. I love werewolves. They are the coolest fucking badass Lycan. creatures ever. They're Lycans fucking are the shit, super man. dope. You know, 
Like people being werewolves is like, oh man, I have this power within me and this primal rage and I want to release it. That's fucking sick, you know? But then the furries came to existence, right? And it made one of my favorite kinds of creatures just disgusting and always have these weird fucking smiles on. And they just look, <laughs> every time they're drawn, they're just they're drawn like, they're just drawn not the right way. Not the way that I want to see. They them. really did fuck werewolves up. They really did. Yeah. Um, and I really, I, I believe you, man. My favorite characters from like everything. It's always the werewolf. I remember uh, uh, Killer Instinct. There was fucking Saber Wolf. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love I love Saber Wolf. There was uh, you talk about Blood War Two. There was Hugo, the Hugo, boxer, my fucking boy. Um, there was uh, Jonathan Talbain from Darkstalkers. They're like those were my favorite. I love werewolves. Valkenheim I- from freaking what you call it, uh, Blaze Blue. Like there's so many cool so werewolves. Many, yeah, like, they're fucking Van Helsing, I think, and like some of the stories was a fucking werewolf too. Dude. The the general idea of just the transformation. Was cool. Yeah. Like, into anything. Like, even Dracula. Yeah. Like, vampires turning into bats. Yeah. Like, that shit's cool as shit. Yeah. And then, like, this thing happened, and now, like, I can't... Like, I like all of that stuff marginally less. Like, I, like I measurably I, less. I can't voice how I feel about that. I like could not stuff. agree with you more. Uh, it really did take... It makes me almost ashamed. Like, I was like, I don't want to... I don't yeah. want to put stuff out there, because people are going to associate it and probably think, oh, this guy's probably a fucking no, exactly. furry. It's like, you, like know, in, you know the... um, oh, What is I it? I hate it. You know Zootopia? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that movie is good, but like I can't like it. <laughs> some of the con- because I just can't. I can't like. I can't like. I like it, and I can't like it. Like some of the shit I've seen from Zootopia, some of the fucking raw, just rank shit put on fucking. Oh, the, the like the deviant art type shit. Some of the shit I've seen has just been so disheartening towards humankind. Deviant art is a whole nother. <laughs> deviant is a art whole is nother. dark. It's fucking nighttime. I shit. have seen. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear with a 50-ton pregnant stomach <laughs> fingering himself with some shit that I've never seen before. That shit is fucking unfucking bel- Like, it is literally some of the most depraved, twisted shit I've seen in my life. Deviant, one might say. Yeah. That, yeah. And I have, I have sat down on Live Leak for hours. Yeah. But they, that stuff that's, is like I just worse. Think, I think I genuinely would rather see the video of the guy getting Beybladed by the train on oh, Live League Jesus Christ. than go back to seeing anything on DeviantArt. That video is funny until you start seeing blood. That video isn't funny at all. <laughs> it's it's like laugh because you know, that humans going through that motion is like, ha, people don't do that. Tops do that. It's, and then <laughs> it's funny in the way that like it's funny in the way that like seeing a really bad car accident is funny. It's like, ha ha ha, I'm in shock. So yeah, I'm like yeah, like it's not fun. <laughs> like it's like I wouldn't tell this as a joke, <laughs> but like maybe <laughs> I have to laugh because otherwise I'll cry or scream, and neither of those are manly. Good point. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm tough man. <laughs> I'm tough man. I laugh at tragedy. <laughs> tragedy make funny for me. So are you saying uh, overall you think you'd rather be addicted to crack though? <sighs> me definitely. You know what? What about you, Chris? I guess in retrospect. Think of how much they harmed you. How much they hurt you. <laughs> Just let it fester. crack. Literally hurt. Like I don't know, let man. It, let it fester. Let it. Let the hatred. For I mean, them there's a lot fester. of cool ass niggas, man, on the block. Exactly. That they they seem like they're all right. They're doing all right. Like, I know a lot of crackheads who are like they're you know they're crackheads, so they're, you know that's a detriment. But other than that, there's like a lot of wisdom in them. <laughs> I don't know. Your movie sucks. Is pretty cool. I like I like YMS. He's the he's a furry. exception to the rule. Yeah, that's true. like it's weird that I'm like. I, I, my mind doesn't compute. I'm like, how are you a But I feel bad few. beating up on the thing that, like, one of my friends is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I really I, don't, I, listen, I, to be like, honest. Um, like, Sonic Fox is like a, what you call it? He's a, um, he's a professional video game player. World class. And he's a, he's a furry, and didn't, he's gay. Didn't he accept, like, an award in a fursuit? Yeah, he did. Yeah. What, for, for, he, for MK, MKX, whole he's ass fucking, fucking monster. Whole ass beast. And, like, he's cool, you know? But, like... But you no. Know. But see, it's weird. <laughs> but see, it's weird that there's a correlation with gay people and furries. What is that? Really? That's a gay relationship. Is it? That's really a real know. one. That's why, like, Adam. Adam's gay as fuck. And yeah. He, and he he's in the furry. Uh, Sonic. Uh, 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 yeah, well, I guess. I, no, there really is. Like, there's a weird. It's a lot of dudes dress up in furry suits and fuck each other. I, I don't wonder, know what that's about. Yeah, I wonder if. There are straight people who do it who are just a little bit more ashamed of that because it's a little, it's way fucking weirder. Yeah, uh, m- m- um, probably. I'm, I, I, there, for some reason, it is, is weirder for straight people to be furries than it is. Like, I don't know you why. Know what? That's actually crazy. Well, true, because, because like, I don't, it's, it's like, yeah, like if it's, if it's some gay guy 
who's I, a furry, I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. That's yeah. like it, that's like weird, and I don't get it at all. But it's I think like, it's ah, the, whatever. I think it's the way that uh, a lot of us like when we think about jolly gay dudes, when we think about uh, West Hollywood gay dudes and shit, how they're yeah. just the life of the party and they love to dress up and stuff. It's not a, a huge step to put on a costume. I guess. I get. Yeah. I, I guess mean, it's more like. It, yeah. It's kind of like theatric. Yeah. It's more. It's more. It's more. It's just more to the, the, the performance. This is probably such an, an insanely offensive conversation. I mean, maybe. <laughs> it, I mean, I'm, maybe. I'm really sorry. Like, if I'm offending anyone, I feel like it's not because it's like it's we're we're just we're not. It's this not is, like we have fucking wisdom on this. We're yeah. just saying what, what yeah, we're, we we're possibly. We're all ignoramus is talking about yeah. how ignorant we are. And we're trying to figure out some sort yeah. of idea. Like a furry can call. Uh, like could could fucking write in and say, well, no, this is how it goes down. Like I've experienced in in the fucking fandom or whatever you and call it. Right, cool. Thank you for the information. Yeah, I hung away out. From me, though. I hung out. I think at VidCon once with uh, Adam and his and his friends, uh-huh. and they seemed all really chill. Yeah, so like nothing against them in general. I just really don't. I can't understand it. Uh, yeah, I, and whatever. That's, that's just thing, life, I guess. I should ask Adam about it because uh, uh, I, w- I went to Vegas. Uh, with with him and some other people. Oh yeah, and, yeah. Oh, and yeah, that's right. I was supposed to go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Dude, one of the only reasons I went. Um, obviously it was, uh, Mim's birthday. But yeah. Yeah. One of the other reasons I went, cause I, I, I thought you were going to go cause I'm, I'm pretty fucking lazy too. And I'm like, I'm pretty like whatever. And I was like, all right, Chris is going to go, uh, show this, this motherfucker a good time. And then like, I booked my flight and you're like, ah, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't ready to do Vegas. Yeah. I think also like, yeah. I don't know. There was something, something. I, I don't really remember. Whatever. It was too long ago. It was a while ago. It was like a year ago. It literally was a year ago. Yeah. Cause I, I went in January last year. So, Chris, would you rather be? I guess a crackhead. Oh, yeah, crackhead. You too, Derek. I, I would have to say one of the main reasons why I'd rather be a crackhead is uh, is because I hate being really hot. And I can't <laughs> imagine being in that fucking suit. Yeah. I, I can't imagine being in that I feel like I would suffocate. I, I'm not claustrophobic, but um, I can't imagine being in that really hot suit for more than like it's it's too much it seems devastatingly annoying it seems like i ra- i think i'd way rather smoke crack and i feel like <laughs> i like crack is dope and here's the deal extent. and here's Not the thing like being addicted to it but like using it i feel like a lot of people that really fuck themselves up off shit like that and have addictive personalities i don't i know people and this is a weird no but this, this is the caveat of the this is the whole point of the question you would be addicted to crack addicted. so yo, you I have to fun- be I know crack functioning head. addicts though i know functioning like crack addicts what's well, the thing i've heard people um, use I'm not even heard. I have friends in the punk scene that used meth recreationally. How the fuck? Exactly. Look, man. So that's why I would take the chance with crack. I yeah, fair <laughs> enough. I, I guess. know one of my friends that is a functioning drug addict. He is literally like he works in like as a fucking accountant or some shit in like Manhattan, but he's addicted to cocaine. Yeah, like that makes sense. Oh, cocaine. That makes a ton of sense. Straight up, he's like badly addicted. Cocaine is so much more common than I ever thought it was. It's yeah. big. Like it's actually wild. <laughs> yeah, you'd see that shit at like I don't know, like iCarly season finale, and then like everybody's like, "Hey, bring your coke." <laughs> 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 we're, we're gonna watch the final episode of Arthur. And I'm just telling you, just how I feel. <laughs> sniff. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought up iCarly, sir. Oh my god. Here I'm we glad. Go. He, I'm glad he brought up iCarly because. <laughs> all right. So there's there's a few of us fans. Uh, a few of you fans know. Oh man. You guys know that um, I have um, an infatuation with Jeanette McCurdy, but so does Chris Raygun. <laughs> and, and, and to be honest, I feel like th- th- it's a it's a bit of an issue for me. <laughs> it, it's a problem. It's a problem, and, and this is why it's a problem to me. I feel like on some very low level, that it's possible that one of us could possibly maybe like get in contact and maybe at some point go on a date or some shit. I feel like that's like a real. I think there's like that's so implausible. I think it's like a ten percent, like ten. I think it's the why it bothers me. It's like she seems like the type of person. I mean, Jeanette McCurdy, not a uh, 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 Sam, whatever the fuck her name was. I feel like the real person. Yeah, seems chill enough to where she might. Yeah, like, I would. I would agree with that. And so there's a the thing where it's like. We've sent like DMs to her, right? Oh my god! <laughs> We've sent DMs to her, Weird. and like, I just you know, has yeah. my, like I said, a, a guy that fucking has like two million followers, he's a superstar in the WWE and everything. He responded, so there's a possibility, like there's a possibility, yeah, that she could see it and actually respond. So the fact that you're kind of like putting that energy out there, it it it, it upsets me a little <laughs> bit. It's funny. 
But at the same time, I'm like, hey, man. Listen, man. It is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. I mean. You got to do that, too. Every now and again, just cycle. He's going to notice one of ours eventually. Well, here's the deal. And I'm right. fine with whatever, honestly. I don't care. I just want to be noticed. As long as someone <laughs> succeeds. So <laughs> I've been t- noticed technically um, because she liked one of my comments. Uh, so uh, I forgot. What, it, it was on one of her posts. And I said something stupid like, um, oh, <laughs> I said, one of my fans has stage 10 ass cancer. And his dying wish is for us to go on a date. <laughs> Did you like <laughs> She's that? like that comment. That's awesome. Stage yeah. 10. <laughs> Don't forget his ass cancer, man. He's, so he's, 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 a, he's a tumor. He's, he's just a tumor. That's all he So th- there was that one, but that was like the only uh, thing. And I, 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 told the, I told this story because I made a video about Jeanette McCurdy having a crush on Jordan Peterson. That's I, right. Yeah, totally like confirmed. Like I think, I think it's real. Um, I told a story that I used to work, uh, I used to be an accountant at this RV dealership and there was a mechanic that his wife was best friends with Jeanette. And I was like, what are the fucking odds? This was in like 2014. I was like, what are the odds? And then this guy, he was like, oh yeah, like it's, here's a picture of, uh, uh, her holding my baby. And I was like, this is fucking real. How is this possible? And then, so he was like. Oh, so you like her, huh? I'm like, dude, like, how about I invite her over for dinner and I'll invite you over and you guys can like... And I was like, that's fucking weird, bro, but I'm down, you know, but... Did did that ever happen? It didn't happen. Damn. He got laid off because it was starting to get the slow season, December. Nobody fucking rents RVs in December. Yeah. So they're like, all right, uh, you guys get out of here. And they had to get rid of some of the mechanics. So it never happened. I I didn't take his number down. I didn't take anything down. I was like, dude... That I feel like that was my one real shot. That was a pre- that's a pretty real shot. That was literally what kind destiny. of fucking coincidence is that, that bro? Was... How many people like, oh, this mechanic just happens, his wife has to be a best friend, Jeanette. What the fuck is that? That is insane. That's hilarious. Yeah. That is wild. It's so weird. And I'm like, what a fucking squander. What a retarded thing for me to do to not get that guy's number. You had your chance, <laughs> man. I'm sorry. Everybody has those experiences, I think. Yeah. Dude, something like that happened to me too, where like when I first moved here in like twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen, I can't remember which year. Uh, where it was with Elliot, a friend of ours. Gotcha. We were here at the same time, and I think it was Glendale. Joe was living in, like, on Acacia. And we were getting a Lyft somewhere. It was the, my first experience with Lyft. I think it was, like, using Uber constantly, and, like, I hated it. And I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah. I was like, no, you got to use Lyft, man. It's, like, way better because Elliot's a hipster, and he does he does whatever the opposite of, <laughs> you know, that is. <laughs> whatever the mainstream is. So I was like, all right, we'll, do, we'll use your Lyft. And he calls this Lyft, and this girl picks us up, and she's the coolest person I think I've ever met, honestly, still. <laughs> but dude, it was insane. Like she, had, she's like this punk chick. She had all these tattoos. She was like talking, like yeah, man, I, I love this shit. And it's like, oh man, I got Weezer's drumsticks in the back. And I'm like, what? oh no shit, you have Weezer's drumsticks. It's like yeah, they're in the, like the glove, th- or they're in like the you know the little uh, the little pouch behind the seat. Check it out. And it's like, and they're there. They're like signed. I'm like, what the what fuck? What the fuck? You just keep Weezer's drumsticks in the back. And it was like the most enthralling conversation I ever had. Yeah. And I walked out of the the Uber, and I was just like. Wait, <laughs> like I was totally like, fuck, I should have got like, I should have got, we were hitting it off so well. Yeah. I should have, I should have, that could have derailed my entire life, honestly. That could have been something. Cause that would have been, that's insane. I still think about it. I think it's still honestly subconsciously why I use Lyft. Oh, I just, it for, the, for, the, for the vague chance that that happens you again. Might. Dude, go back in the app and like sift through I, it, You man. don't think I did that? Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn, I'm so sorry. I called Elliot. I was like, give me the number of the, of the Lyft. <laughs> like I, I, I tracked this shit down as best I could, and I still couldn't find the person. That's crazy. That's one of those. Yeah, the, the they call it the 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 one that got away type of deal. They call it that type of story. Do I, do I have that story? I I don't know. Like for me, I just I've had such a litany of bad relationships. Like so many just like horrible, horrible relationships. That I think like the last like the only really good girl I've had like ever is my current girlfriend, and I just didn't allow it to go away. I was like, I'm just. I can't deal with this bullshit I've had before. So you're like very forceful and abusive and stuff. Uh, like- I try. I- <laughs> now listen here, right? Disputes happen and arguments happen. Sure, and, and every sure, sure. That, that's yeah. impossible. Sometimes to you can't help but exchange blows. Um, sometimes <laughs> people mm-hmm. get heated, but you have to use your words. Okay. Has <laughs> it risen to fists? No, nah, no, uh, not <laughs> seriously, never, never. <laughs> I'm not serious. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not serious. Yeah, but hey, man, that's cool, man. I like that's that's good. Like that's the type of it's, what's going on with you is the type of experience that like I, I I feel like I need because when I when I started thinking about things in retrospect, I started thinking about my list, a track list of dating, and I'm like this is this is not good. Like I don't have enemies and shit as exes, but it's just I was like, what the fuck's going on? And one of my, one of my one of my homegirls tried to say. That oh I think you're uh, addicted to uh, dating long distance, 
And I was like, fuck no. It just happens to, I think because of where I live in LA and in yeah. the LA surrounding area, there's a lot of cool chicks here. But most of them are fucking, they're already spoken for or whatever. It's just like a thing. It's hard to find that shit. It's hard to find people in general in a city. Yeah. And it, look, yeah. for some fucking reason, the coolest girls I've ever met, like the ones that are like so fucking chill, live absolutely nowhere near me. Like, say, I dated a girl that was like 2015. I was involved with a girl in Germany. Yeah, and this it was just a weird circumstantial thing. I'm That's not trying. Continental, bro, bro. I That's didn't try. Shit, dude. I moved to Greece for a few months, like a year after that in 2016, and so that was another thing that just happened. And it was it was. I'm not forcing any of this shit. Oh, <laughs> guess what? One of the coolest, and still one of the coolest fucking people I've ever met. Um, I mentioned I think on the last podcast that there was this uh, my ex I used to watch E fucked with. Um, so <laughs> this awesome. girl and you met her you met her you you met this girl she yeah. was my previous ex she was one of the coolest fucking people I ever met she happened to live in fucking Norway I met her too I think yeah yeah, yeah she's yeah, she dope dude she's cool people she's cool I like like as far as like people really do it's, and I'm like where is that shit in my vicinity and I'm not trying that's why I, th- I feel like Jeanette's one of those people that can be really fucking cool <laughs> but obviously that's like untouchable I don't, I don't think it's like really real obviously I like to keep the energy out she there she does seem very very just chill she does like yeah, that's the vibe that she gets at yeah and she gives what, like she's like cause she's not like I don't know she's not like a supermodel yeah. level attractive she's, it's like this like kind of like oh she seems like somebody who would like live next door. Yes, that I would like kind of like yeah be vaguely interested in. I totally agree with you. Actually, just happened. Somebody replied to because I did one of those Q and A's on Instagram, and this one girl said, uh, "I don't like why. Why are you so obsessed with her? She's not even that pretty." And I I responded with, uh, "Well, it's not. It's not just about looks. It's it's clearly not just about looks. Yeah. Like she's obviously attractive, but." The, the vibes that she gives off. She seems like a really g- genuine, like, decent person. like And that's Definitely. why... She's doing this show now, I think. It's called I'm Glad My Mom Died <laughs> yeah. or something. And, and I'm like... <laughs> I was like, fucking, what's this? <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, what's this? And she chill, she's a musician. Like, she plays guitar well. She actually has a great singing voice. She has a lot of different qualities that I like. She's that's cool. why I'm like, okay, cool, cool. Go for um, it, man. But yes, keep it up. I mean, I'm, I really am just, like, you know, just trying to do my own thing when I focus. I'm, right now, I'm focused on getting in shape, right? If something happens to fall on my lap, cool. But I'm really trying my best not to like because I, like this. My homegirl said like I think you're you're addicted to the long distance thing. I so I'm not. I swear I want to date in my area. But hey, guess what? Another girl that I just stumbled upon that happens to be super fucking dope, very pretty. She lives in Brazil, and I'm like, nope, I'm not doing it. You're just not American, man. I, I think you're just like you're not American Dude, brand, man. No, you just I want, you fucking just want- do. I would cool, like uh, genetism is probably as American as it comes, right? I would if if that was I a can't real think of anything more American than Jeanette McCurdy <laughs> from my Carly. Honestly, yeah, Bruh, probably, yeah. Like they, she, I think she really does embody America. <laughs> like she's eating like all this disgusting meat yeah. all the time and just being a dickhead and shit like that. That's kind of the American and she's way. A that's bully. What people, I like a bully. That. I think that's I like, like bullies. That's I think that really embodies like what a, <laughs> the American individual. And uh, but yeah, I'm not I'm not really trying to go on because uh, about fucking her all day and all that shit. But I'm really I really am trying to not have it come to like, oh, uh, I'm I'm somehow going to fly outside of the fucking country and yeah. see another broad because long distance is hard. It's In very general. hard. And Lousy. I don't look, I don't. The reason I don't rule it out, though, is because of H3H3. H3. Like right, Ethan, right, Ethan and Ela. It, it like it was one of those things that worked out perfectly. They met over it, it, uh, doing that weird museum thing, the museum of uh, holocausting or whatever the, the fuck. Holocaust, they met at the yeah. Holocaust museum. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Where they, they oh. ho- yeah, they met there. Imagine and- hitting on a woman at a Holocaust museum. <laughs> <laughs> kind of ballsy. Guys don't get hit on in the same way, though. Fuck, it's no. Very it's different. always gross, actually. It's Dude, always, like, really fucking morbid. What? What? Like, whenever girls hit on me, it's, like, always some, what? like... Some, like... Just inappropriate. It's just rude. Like, I don't talk to me like that right now. It please. is. Like, it, it is uh, very weird. Dr- uh, dr- uh, something that I've learned throughout my life is that um, I've been... I've been... Uh, what, what do you call it? Um, not assaulted, but sexually, like, groped in. I've been... I've been me too a bunch oh, yeah, of times, yeah. countless times. Yeah, and it's like it's something that dudes, I guess, we don't talk about it because it's like, oh, whatever. You know, we're just kind of like, oh, no one's gonna take that seriously. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. But I was like, so, so there, there's, I can, I can, we could have an entire podcast about 
the amount of times like uncomfortable or weird shit has happened. Oh, yo, it, right. Un- so I'm a black male. That shit happens to us all the time. So I feel you on you say like what what you were kind of saying. I I do I understand that. Yeah, and it's uh, it's, it's but, weird. It's insane, man. It's I had disgusting. a manager at Sears. This like a female manager at Sears who would literally just like grab my ass constantly. <laughs> And I was like, I can't do anything. I need my I seven. Need my I, need, job. I need my seven dollars and twenty five cents an hour. Yeah, it, hap- it happens to us too. It's not as common, and it's usually not as graphic. But, yeah, uh, I that, think I think it is as common. Genuinely, it, it's I just pretty don't common. Think we care. I just don't think we care. It, we don't care, true. and also because we know that we could probably just punch him. Exactly, the yeah. power, the power dynamic is yeah, the I biggest. Guess. Change your life. Yeah, I could have whooped any of those girls' asses. That fucking, you know. It, <laughs> Hell yeah, I could have knocked like, them like, I totally could have whooped any of their asses. But, it, like, so it's not necessarily putting me in a, an uncomfortable situation because I know I can escape it immediately. It's if just I, annoying. Yeah, it's just annoying. It's like, hey, hey, I'm, I'm not with that. What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, what are you doing? And then it's it, it becomes a little different, though. Like, say if there's an insanely hot girl and she does something crazy, you're kind of like, you're, you're probably going to overlook it. Like, even if you didn't want it, you're probably going to be like, well, well, at least she was hot. You know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah, I probably yeah. would. Yeah. yeah, I'd be like, oh, she's just trying to release. Like, yeah. if, I, if I was, like, working at Sears and Jeanette McCurdy, like, yeah. <laughs> grab my ass. <laughs> grab ass. Currently, yeah. I'd be like, hey, don't do that. Seriously, that's not cool. But, like, years ago, me, I'd be like, oh, freaking dope. Yeah. Sick. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with this, though. I To be 100% honest, <laughs> if you ended up, like, somehow dating I, Jeanette. I'm not going to do that. Look, I'm just saying, if you did, look, I would, I would concede but I would not be happy for you. I'd be I'd be one hundred percent real. I would I would not ruin your relationship. I wouldn't say anything. If you somehow got married and got to that hey, point, listen, man, I'd I show a, up to the wedding, but here's, I'd be here's a promise. Bitter. If I get a response, I'll refer her to you. Genuinely. Because <laughs> I don't I don't need that's cause look, that's gonna because here's the thing, that's look. gonna be another public relationship. And I, I, I done. Okay, I'm that's done a, with that. Yeah, that's I that's yeah. none of that a anymore. Good point. Yeah, yeah, I've never had done. that before, so I don't know what that's like. Because that was fucking wild. That was it's ridiculous. headlines that I've uh, uh, and articles I've uh, the read. The shit I've seen, someone that isn't even involved in that shit enough. The shit I've seen has been like, okay. How wild was that shit, dude? How like is that some like meta shit? Because like you've seen smear shit about other people, smear campaigns or whatever. How weird is it that happening to you? How did you feel like? How how do you feel about all that shit? That shit was weird, man. Yeah. I don't know how to process that. That shit was like, yeah. When I was seeing Lacey, it was like just. For some reason, that relationship was like a symbol to people, uh-huh. and like people like really put it up on some pedestal, and then they were like constantly talking about it. Oh, I wonder what's going on. It's like, oh my god! In the same way of like Romeo and Juliet, you know, those two, the the the, the houses coming together. It was interesting. Yeah. I, I get why it was a big deal at the time. Yeah, but like the fact that it persisted. Yeah, it, for it, so long, it was shouldn't insane. have. That was, was stupid. Like, it's not that crazy. It's fucking. It wild. was like. It should have been like anything else on the internet. Big deal in a week, and then everyone gives the no one remember and I, gives a fuck about it anymore. Like after yeah, a week or something. Yeah, like I think if we, I think if we were like new to the internet, that thing would have that would have destroyed us entirely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thankfully, like we had like years of experience. Yeah, on the internet, I saw her like literally yesterday, and everything's like fine. Oh no shit, which is which is sick. It's good. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's good that it's safe. But man, that was fucking wild. When you see your face on the New York Times. <laughs> You're on New York like, Times? Yeah. On the website for the New York Times, they wrote an article about us. How fucking like, wild is that shit, bro? Are you kidding me? Are what you... is the big deal, dude? This should not be on the New York Times. I'm sure that I'm sure when that was written, like 50 people died in some fucking crazy car bombing in Iraq or something. Yeah. Or some crazy shit that was like, why is that not being reported? Some bill was you're not fucking... allowed to be passed that should have been passed, <laughs> but your face is on New York face... Times instead. Dude. Insane, man. Etched that was anxiety history, inducing. Bro. That one. That specific one was like, why the, what the fuck? My cousins were t- telling me, like, I saw you on the news. I was like, what the fuck? What, what do does that mean? mean? <laughs> and because of that, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of my family who hadn't been aware of my channel found my channel. And now, I, now, now, oh. like, now every time, now every time I go back, there's always, like, a cousin who brings friends who are, like, oh. fans. And it's oh like, oh my I, God, really? Yeah. It's that like, shit's fucking corrosive, man. Dude. I, hope my fa- I hope my family never figures out any of the internet bullshit I do. It's, it, it, my family's too, like, Two like old world traditional like bunch of like smart asses around a table like I can't I can't have my that, family's man. not like that like yeah. my cousin will come my cousin like when I was there for New Year's this past this past month yeah you know like I went to I I, I went to my parents place we did the New Year's thing 
and my cousin brought over like a couple friends and they were like oh we're big fans of your, of your content and i was like oh my god you're in my house like yeah that, you're that, in that's my chi- that's you're gross. in my childhood, childhood house home. exactly that's fucking that's weird. gross I, I, can, I'd, like, I'd be pissed where you can like dig through my shit if you wanted to like it's just fucking weird man like you could leave the room and just fuck with my sh- like that's just that's too much that's yeah. too many converging lines that's that absolutely cross the line it was, it get was, the fuck out of my house what are you doing here it was very weird uh, uh, yeah. i would fuck that cuz i'm like yo don't bring them back again or so I'll, I'll break you <laughs> yeah, they're not allowed here. Yeah, that's no, that's real talk. And yeah, like I I appreciate fans and course. everything. Obviously, like of it's course. super cool that that's even possible at all. But at the same time, it's like I don't know. Like I got Postmates uh, the other day, and like the Postmate was like, I'm I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of your stuff. Like my my boyfriend's in the car. He's like he does everything that uh, I think she, I think she said my boyfriend does what he does because of you. Oh and shit! I, was like, I don't, don't want to know what he does. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but like, and that's cool. Like, it makes me feel good. But then I'm it's, like, fuck. This person now knows where I. It's where oh, I live. Th- yeah. And then there's not that they're gonna do anything because, like, I, I assume like most people aren't freaking maniacs. I assume yeah. most people are normal. Most people are pretty chill. Yeah. I hate when people meet with me and my girlfriend. Like me and my girlfriend. My girlfriend's super not like. She's a very normal human being. She's like not fucking. My sense of humor, the shit I do on internet. She's like, she's like very much so detached from that. But when I'm outside, like in like fucking like Glendale. And then, like, somebody comes to me and they, like, they make a fucking joke or they say something to me. And it's, like, I'm with, like, people that are, like, not intact with that kind of shit I do. <laughs> it just feels, like, it just feels strange. Because then I have to, like, hey, let me step away. I got to say some real ignorant shit for a second. <laughs> so give me a moment, guys. Surely you're in that zone now. Surely you figured out some kind of. Oh, I figured it out. But it's still. There's a formula to it. It's still a little weird, though. It's always going to be a little weird yeah. because it's just not something that is normal. I, yeah, it's, you know? it's not the norm, I guess. But it becomes normal, and it's not that big of a deal when it happens. Like, it is. Oh, hey, thanks, man. That Appreciate shit doesn't it. make sense to me, uh, with, like logistically, where uh, okay, it's you have this many subscribers or whatever, mm-hmm. and then you, I live in a city that has tens of millions of people. So I'm like, what are the odds? What are the odds? I'm gonna fucking. So me being that thinking in that way, you know, I look like the worst shit possible when I go out. Uh, my I have like I might grow my nails out and everything's gross. I'm like thinking that I'm not gonna shake anyone's hand or anything, and then all of a sudden like somebody comes up and I'm like fuck I, I didn't. It's not you don't think that's gonna happen, and especially on like a level like that, like it's fucking weird. It's, it's where I I imagine like say I don't know how many like views total you have, so then that kind of increases your odds like more eyes have been on you. Yeah, but like I feel like I'm like no one's fucking. I know, no, and but now I'm getting paranoid, bro. It gets tricky, man. Like when you count your subscribers down, like when you actually take into account, like when you actually put like a human body to each of those numbers, it's actually fucking insane. It is like I mean, that's like several, several football fields. That is several football. That's stadiums. true. That that's, that's insane. totally like counters like what I'm saying, and, and so you because that is a lot of fucking people. Um, that's true. Yeah. I don't know. I just it's feel. Lot, man. I'm just getting paranoid now, though. To be honest, have you checked how many views like Lifetime you you have recently? Uh, it's. I forgot. I think it's like it's not that much. Well, I mean, it is when sure you outside it of it. No, I, it's not that much. It's like it's like forty million or something. It's a lot. That's a big number. That's a big number. But I imagine yours is probably like fucking triple that or something. Oh, I'm probably sure there's like triple quadruple that. Quadruple. It's fucking like but a still, lot. Still, there are people that have zero. That like that's nothing. very it is, true. Even we, my stupid ass with fucking like two fucking videos on YouTube. <laughs> it's like well over a thousand and it scares the shit out of me that is that's possible look at this this is what actually tripped me out and it kind of grounded me a little bit um i had a, a friend from high school he's been doing youtube for uh a, a couple of years or whatever and i saw his girlfriend post uh this had to be like a year or two ago when he hit uh the 1000 subscriber threshold she was so proud of him and i was like Oh, what the fuck like it it kind of like the 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 accomplishment the a thousand people and I was saying, I was like, Jesus, man, like, well, when the, I was like, when the last time, when was I at a, I don't think I ever even had a time to even process a thousand because one video came out and then thousands of people poured in. So it wasn't even time to like reflect on that shit. And I was like, yeah. wow, that That's is wild. a lot of, a thousand people is a lot of people. Dude, it I is. remember when I freaked out when I hit a hundred. I remember I was like, yeah. I got a hundred people. That's wild. Yeah, you know? that's that's crazy. That's like, like a sizable auditorium, <laughs> and it is like yeah. actually that's, that's already like, kind of huge. Yeah, it's yeah. like a, a bunch it of is. people. It is. I had I had a, I had, a, a, I had a channel before uh, the one that I had, and it was just this was the one that like it was like the bane of my existence because I was actually talking about politics like in depth. Yeah. And, and 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 I, I just nuked that shit because I was like, dude, I fucking hate everything. So unfun. Oh yeah, it was. I was just mad. <laughs> everything's like everything's stupid. Politics are retarded. Uh, but yeah, I think I got like I probably 
closer to 100 or something like that. And some of my videos, one of them had like over a thousand views and I was, shit was fucking crazy to me. I'm like, how is that even, how yeah. did, did people even find this video? The first video that I had that broke, I, I made a video in like 2007 or 2008. Yeah. It was like, how to, it was just a tutorial for like a Halo thing where like how to lower your weapon in Halo so you could do like machinima and shit. Okay. I just did like how to lower your weapon in Halo 3 and it got like, I think 32,000 views in like three days. Yeah, that's or wild. something that would have which is in my... like 2008 that's like a that's lot that's a ton like, that's, of views that would have like, broke my fucking face dude like not even kidding like that would be on like probably at that time it's probably on trending or something like that yeah it had like, yeah because th- th- that's how many people like it used to it's hilarious like the shit that's like syn- synonymous with like that's huge people on youtube back then you look back and it's like ten thousand subs it's hilarious it it's, really, it's weird. It's weird. It really is weird. It's it's to the point where I I, I remember when my because everyone every once in a while there's like a the algorithm will punish you. Something happens. I think it's a mm. there's some people that think it's intentional. I don't. I think it's a bug. I think they can't figure out how to get their shit like right. And so there will be periods of time where you'll just bleed subscribers every time you upload. Subs just start falling off. Like something happens and it's uh, you can't do anything about it. You can't control it. And uh, this happened to me for most of 2019. It was like really upsetting. Mm-hmm. And then like, I remember seeing like a few people. I guess they were probably like haters or some shit. No matter like, oh, your fucking channel's dying. And the thing was like, some of the videos were still getting like 30,000 views. And I was thinking, we take a step back. I'm like, that's still a lot of fucking views. Yeah, like dude. really. And I talked to one of my friends that she was, she blew up back in the day. And now her videos, her videos now can barely crack over a thousand. And so wow, it, it fu- when I was complaining about the algorithm fucking my channel, and like now it's pretty normal again where I can get anywhere from six to one hundred k, and it's like that's usually in my range. Talking to her, like I was like, I feel like an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> it really does make you feel like just a complete asshole. Like I remember I put out a video, the the Christmas recap thing. Yeah, and it hit like two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, I was like, damn, this video failed. <laughs> <laughs> like to me. That's a I was like, nah, it's got to be like 400K or else it yeah. doesn't count. And it's yeah. like, for, it's, what a it's, fucking stupid. It's weird. I, for me, it's the idea of like, just the thank yous, you know, because like every one of those people is a person, you know, every one of those likes come from a person. Yeah. So I see it as like a, like a very, like a thank you guys for even like, even in me on like Twitter, like people that like view my fucking bullshit or like, like the tweets, I think, or like respond. Like it's thank you guys for like being there and taking part in all the bullshit I like I put up. It's cool. And yeah. I do because like I be like. At times, we may forget you guys are people, but, like, we do appreciate every one of you guys for doing that. Yeah. It's easy to just kind of, like, look at numbers and yeah, just kind of just touch. focus on the numbers because it's, for all intents and purposes, when you're thinking business-wise, you just have to look at things in a numbers capacity. It's just, like, how you grow It's how you quantify it. Yeah. It but, sense. like, yeah, like, I think, it's, I think it's why I try to make it to VidCon. Or like it's yeah, why I try yes. to make it to PAX when I can. Yeah. Because I think that's those are like really sobering moments where you're just like around people who like this this number now has like a face and like a personality. Absolutely. And it's like really rewarding and it's also humbling at the same time. Really gets you yes. back to a normal. I feel like people who don't do that will easily like kind of lose themselves. Yes. Um, and it's easy to do that. It's easy to forget like forget or like just become all consumed. Oh yeah. really? Because it gets it's so much it's it's so much view it's so many people it's so many like oh, I have this many thousands of people following me you know, and it mentally puts you on a pedestal sometimes. But like it's not intentionally. It's just the fact that like it's that's a lot of people. It it it's it unintentionally will yeah. happen. And and one thing is uh, I I definitely always want to check myself and make sure I stay grounded. And but there is something I always feel like there's some people that are meant to command or entertain a mass amount of people. Like they're too charismatic to just like be. Oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think I definitely think you guys are two people yeah. that are like, like well, very charismatic. I was gonna say uh, this is because I I feel like I feel like I'd be a great producer because I feel like I see people and I'm like I see like really great potential in you or mm-hmm. something. I did like you mentioned uh, you name drop Kasara when I stumbled upon her channel that had like 19 subs and she had a few videos up and I was like, dude, this chick's fucking hilarious. Like people need to know about her. Yeah, like people need because they're gonna they're gonna respond and then she started to get like an audience because I was like. You can tell, you can feel it, mm-hmm. and and look, this is probably the nicest thing I'll ever say about you, like right, there we go. like I like <laughs> you. Well, I guess nice and also like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? You 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 can you fucking are 
unanimously, people were like, "This is one of the funniest people I've ever fucking heard." I don't do like, I, like I'm, I die when I hear this guy rant, and then yeah. he just fucking. What do you just jerk off? What do you do? I am not. Dude, what do you do? I what am is this? not. What is this? A social media kind of person. You, I've become much you more of one. Have to, you can be I've like become much more of a content like like person that like deals with like internet stuff. Hey, shut but, up for a second. Oh God, here All right. we go. Yeah, look, you know, you know who's not on social media? Dave Chappelle. All right, that's not an excuse. To be able to like, you know, yeah. just put some even somebody can just like, hey, um, hey, girlfriend, uh, handle my shit. I'm just saying as an example, you. you are objectively funny. Yes, and I think if you streamed or something, that would be great. Yeah, that would be huge for you. Yeah, you could stream and honestly, like, you you would probably overtake me on Twitch probably because like, I just don't really I'm not good at streaming like, really dude, at all. You fucking uh, you spend a lot of time playing video games. Why not just turn on the fucking camera? It's it's dude. You don't have to turn on the camera. Honestly, you can just go on mic. Oh, tr- sure. It would, yeah. it really, it would this be. Is, just- this is the thing. Okay, let me explain this to you guys. Okay? okay, that is how do I explain it? That is like a just another world. It's like a parallel dimension that I just I've never felt very comfortable in. Like that's why I like I love being in Chris's videos because I guess it's like snippet of Kingston. Bam, I'm in. Say some dumb shit. Say some wild shit. Then I'm out. You know. Yeah. Like that's how I feel about it. And I hate it because I get that shit all the time from like other fucking YouTubers, other people that are just like pretty big, and they're like, "Oh, dude, you're fucking hilarious." Like when I see that when Jakey said I was funny, that shit fucked with my mind. I was like, "This guy's hilarious," and they think I'm funny. Dude, and it's just strange to me because like I don't really think I'm that funny. You know. And nobody does. Yeah, that's it's 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 it, that's a good thing. And here's here's a, here's an interesting thing that uh, happened uh, a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So Corey Taylor, one of the biggest musicians in the world, you know, he's a singer of Slipknot um, and Stone Sour. So his uh, he has a son named Griffin, mm-hmm. right? Griffin hit me up, and he's like, "Dude, you three, like, he was talking about us. I don't think he gives a fuck about any of my other content. But he's like, dude, when you guys, he's like, dude, that fucking Tom Sweeney and all that. He's so fucking funny." And then, really? Yeah, and I'm Slipknot. That's yeah. hilarious. Like, so this guy, like that's that. associated. And the funny thing is, like, I know who he is. He's like, hey, you know who my dad is and stuff, right? And I'm like, fucking course, dude. Like, like I fucking marked out when 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 uh, when he followed me on Twitter because like I did like a little Slipknot cover, and I was like, what the, what the fuck? And like now, I there's a direct line, and I know that, and I know this guy has showed his dad Corey like aware of this. Like talent, the or the natural talent, I would say, because it's mm-hmm. just it just happens. Yeah, and, and it's one of those things where it's like I'm not trying to fucking freak you out, bro. But it's one of those things that it's like, dude, fucking do do take that natural funniness and fucking just just put it out there more. Here's the way that I I honestly look at things. Uh huh. There are a there are a myriad of things that I could be doing, right? Like I could be an accountant, or I could be like a fucking. You know, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Like, literally anything. I think this particular job, as unstable as it can be, uh-huh. and as, like, uncertain as it can be, is at least the one thing that I don't foresee being easily replaceable. That's the thing for me. True. Where yeah, it's like, automation is going to fuck shit up. Like, for real. Like yeah, it's, it's already fucking shit up, like, drastically. It's already lot, scaring me, and I'm, and like, a, not automated at all. My life. You can't automate, really, a comedian. Yeah. Not yet. It's I don't you think know? it'll ever happen. It'll be a long ass time it'll before be that's even possible. I think th- the only way that would happen is if everybody else, there's like a synchronicity. Everybody fucking gets to this weird point where everybody is some type of connected and all of a sudden we can watch some automated yeah. fucking bullshit. Well, comedy is based on personality. Yeah. yeah. And like, you know, you could automate a lot of shit. You can't really you can't convincingly automate personality. Yeah. You like c- no 3 AI in the next 100 years probably is going to be able to replicate this. No, what this what the the triangle that we have here? I gotcha. And I just think there's like a relative amount of security in that. Even if like the platforms that are available to us right now are really shitty and really kind of like just all over the place, and you don't know what the hell you're doing most of the time, I think not only is it just like super rewarding and super cool, yeah, it's kind of a really solid bet, especially for people who are just objectively funny. I think you are obje- objectively funny. And you should know that by now. I think you do. I don't think but, I'm that funny. I really don't. I mean, I think I think that I I think that I can get a laugh out of people, but I don't think I'm hilarious. When I think of hilarious, I think of like, I think like high on the totem pole. Dude, Dave Chappelle, Jerry Seinfeld, all these people, all the top comedians, yeah, have shows where they bomb completely. 
and it happens kind of more often than you think it does. Uh-huh. They bomb constantly because that's how they get good. And you know, like a video will come out that I'll do, and I'll be like, "Ah, oh, that was not good." Uh huh. <laughs> you know, oh, that was yeah. not good. You'll feel it. will be like, and then I'll feel, I'll feel it. I'll know it. And I'll be like, "All right, I'll do better next time." Yeah. And that bust your balls, and then you do good, and then people like your stuff, and then like it's just a cycle of getting better. Yeah. And that, like, it's a muscle, and I think that we've been flexing that muscle for so long now. It's been like four years of flexing this, just like, let's be funny constantly. Yeah. There's yeah. not a point I don't think in the last four years where we haven't just laughed incessantly. Yeah, honestly. Every single day. Yeah, it's weird. Every like every time one person comes in a room, it's just it <laughs> starts. It's instantly <laughs> funny. The second Jalen comes into the room, it's instantly funny. <laughs> the second we start playing Smash, it's instantly funny. Dude, that instantly. Yeah. That game. If we stream Smash Bros, that we would explode. We would fucking ex- you have you have to be here for one of those times. We played last night. And it got to the point that we were all having such a bad... I was crying because of how tired and upset I was. <laughs> and it was just morbid shit being said. Like, shit that, like... It's just, who thought of that? What kind of demon thought of that joke? Because yeah. you're just a terrible person. And you pick Yoshi. Like a yeah. fucking psychopath. Yo, Yoshi's so great. <laughs> He's so... The thing about Yoshi is that Yoshi in canon is just the best friend ever. Uh-huh. He's just the best friend. Yeah, you can kick him down a hole and he yeah, won't, he'll just I mean, die for he's you. More he's, loyal than a dog. He's, he's, a, he's a really good friend. You know, he saved Mario when he was a fucking infant. Oh, yeah. He's oh, a yeah. good dude. Got but it. in Smash, he's just, he's a fucking war, fucking a war ready monster. <laughs> ready to hurt anyone who opposes him. It's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, he's a dinosaur, right? Like, they'll fuck you he's up. He's a right? dinosaur with shoes, Derek. No, no boots. That's... With boots. <laughs> <laughs> Boots on his He's never kicks. taken those off, <laughs> dude. I wonder what it looks. Like. I wonder what his feet look I don't like. Think on, on, I don't think he has feet. I don't think he has feet. I think his feet are his boots. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he just like, has boots. Develops in the egg, and the fucking boots are a part of its DNA. The boots are the first thing that forms. <laughs> the, the boots. It just forms around the boots. I like that. So you fucking crack open a half, like a, you know, an aborted fucking Yoshi. It's like boots in the fucking egg. <laughs> That's how they make boots. <laughs> Yeah, I've never, I've never thought to look up how you make boots on YouTube, and now like just crack open, a, uh, crack open a Yoshi egg just like four weeks early. <laughs> you get, you get boots. boots. They're always the same size though, so you got to be careful, dude. It's so I want to tell terrifying. my kids that. It's so I want to like, you know that stupid ass meme that was going around of like, I'm gonna tell my kids this is oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I want to really legitimately do that. Tell my kids Yoshi's are the reasons why we have shoes. Yeah, <laughs> my dad used to just lie to me for no reason. That's so cold. No, it's it's fun. <laughs> it was. Fun. I would totally do. I would carry on that tradition. Yeah, like he would just tell me like, oh yeah, you know, you know how they make boneless wings, right? It's like, oh no, it's like, oh, there's boneless chickens. He would tell me this. There's like, and I was like young enough to be like, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, Dad, you're my, you're the person who's supposed to be telling me how the world works. I believe you. Thank I trust you. you. Thank you, caregiver. Thank you, caregiver. Thank <laughs> you so much. Boneless and he'll be chickens. like, there's a boneless chicken farm, and they like. They farm the boneless chickens. <laughs> and I was just like, like, yeah, that makes total sense. They're boneless wings. <laughs> They're just like wobbling. What are they like? Do they just lay there? They just <laughs> just They're, They're like, the, the, the way he described them to me was that they're like snails kind of. Ah, oh, that's where they where they kind of like slink slither, around. Yes. Yeah, they slither around. <laughs> and he said funny. that like there was like hot dog trees. You could like pick fresh hot dogs. That's sick. And I was like, yeah, dad, makes sense. I'm eight. <laughs> or like, or like six or something. This planet doesn't make sense to me at all. But this is. You're, thank you for clarifying what is for me. I appreciate. It. <laughs> I've been thinking about like what what lies I'm going to tell my kids. I'm definitely already. Gonna t- I'm like prepped. Mm. Did I ever tell you the story about how my dad like pretend to lo- pretended to lose me? Yeah. All the time. Oh, wow. Well, why would he do that? <laughs> why so, would anybody do that? So, <laughs> no good reason. So we were sure. like, this was on, in Yonkers on McLean. And we were like walking down to like, I can't remember, like to the pizza shop or to the to the pharmacy, something. I would get my toys at the pharmacy, but that's a story for another day. Oh, my God. <laughs> with, um, what's the name of it? Um, righteous Truth or Righteous Justice? Yeah, right, like all these like bo- like bootleg things. Oh, but they had like oh. real shit, too. They had like, like I got all my Dragon Ball Z yeah, figures from that pharmacy. Right it was yeah. Lee, it was, I remember it was Lemac Pharmacy on McLean Avenue. Like in Yonkers, like and Inspector I'm, Gear. Do you have anything yeah, like that? Yeah, Inspector <laughs> Gear. What? <laughs> just it's, Richard, it's just Richard Gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, but I was no. So we were walking home from the far, from one of those things, and, and like my apartment or our apartment at the time was like maybe like three blocks away. It wasn't that far, and I was running up ahead of my dad because I just knew where to go, and it wasn't that far. And then my dad was like. He just shifted his eyes around, probably, I imagine is what he did. And then he walked into some parlor 
and then just watched me from inside. And then I turned around and he was just gone. And oh I was like God. flipping out. I was like, where the fuck is my... I have bad separation anxiety from that now, probably. But <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny at the time for some reason. I remember laughing like... <laughs> you weren't laughing. You were I was. frightened. I was <laughs> crying, but I was laughing also. I was like, ah, dad, you're such a jokester. I got you're you, so you funny, bitch. Dad. You're so funny, dad. <laughs> you stupid kid. <laughs> you're so easily... I think you just want to fuck with your kids. Because like, there's no... There's, no, there's never going to be another human being... That you, that that you that could too, yeah. just fuck with like that. That's true. You know, That's and people true. just like. People I don't like know, man. Pranks. People like <laughs> people <laughs> love people love playing pranks. Like, like I, I convinced this is real. I don't know if I've ever told the story on a podcast, but I've, I've definitely told it to, ev- to everybody that I've met so far. Mm. There was this kid that went to my Catholic school who I convinced. He was like three grades below me. I convinced him that I was Vegeta from an alternate reality, and I was here to destroy the world. <laughs> What? <laughs> I convinced him. He was thoroughly convinced. He would get me food from the vending machine to appease me like a god. That's oh awesome. My god, he wouldn't pay. Monster. He wouldn't pay for it. I would give him the money. I just didn't want to get up. Like I'm not that much of an asshole. I'm not gonna make this kid's probably poor family pay for my fucking <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> freaking fiend. You're I, a monster. It was just, so what happened? It started off as like a joke. Because like I think like at the time, like you're a kid and you think you could do impressions well, and everybody's like, Yeah, that was a good impression. I did the Vegeta impression or whatever, and he was like, that's really good. And I was like, yeah. And I joked about it. I was like, yeah, I'm actually from another. And he was like, really? <laughs> and, was like, and I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I saw an opportunity to just have a lot. Of, this went on for a year. Oh, my, my God. A this, full that's, year. Oh, dude, that's fucking, not good, man. I feel bad for that kid. His oh, name my, was Derek, actually. Oh, no shit. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It was the normal way, the, the different way, the D R D E R E K. Yeah. Yeah. And like, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. poor kid. I wonder if he thinks about that. He must think about that and like, wow, I, how stupid I, I must have been. I hope he knows who, like, he knows you're doing this and he's and he listens to this. I hope he doesn't know yet, and I, he's just out somewhere terrified. Like, when is he gonna? Strike? Oh, like, still I'm not there to appease <laughs> like, him. Like, I hope they're keeping him in check. I hope someone's getting his food from the vending machines because he's dangerous. <laughs> Dude, we gotta get you a fucking Vegeta fucking costume. You know what's fucked up uh. is that like, <laughs> I said I would destroy the school. And at the end of the year, the school closed down. Oh, so we thought it was you. So this is a very good. T- I hadn't seen him, but like, there's a pretty good possibility that he equates that. Dude, you oh fucked my. this kid's life up. That's just psychological damage that no one needs. He's and probably you it was a in, joke. He's probably in therapy right now because <laughs> of this shit. He probably really. He probably can't hold a steady relationship anymore because of you. <laughs> He probably can't find love and all this shit, and he's just, his life is spiraling out of control. He probably hates Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he fucking gets triggered by this uh the, this the, the 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 Kakarot game that just came out. He sees, like he, he freaks out and goes to some fucking PTSD moment. He sees Christopher oh. Sabat at like a at like a Walgreens or something. And he like he hears him and he starts he starts shelling up. <laughs> he starts shaking in oh the fucking. Oh my god. Feminine, uh, feminine products aisle. Starts quaking in his boots. <laughs> Starts quaking in his Yoshi boots. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Yoshi, man. I'm going to get a Yoshi tattoo that says I'm death. <laughs> right on my fucking forearm. If you do that, I'll pay for it. Oh, this is, this is going to happen. Yo, can you have like the Akuma like, order going? I, yeah, I'll fucking, I'll do it. I'll do that. Definitely. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Have you ever gotten a tattoo? You don't have a tattoo. None yet. None. None They're kind of fun, yeah. honestly. You gonna get Kuma? You gonna get uh, his little thing? I was gonna get Yoshi with his. his <laughs> after Yoshi beats the life out of people, he does the Akuma the stance Kuma. from fucking from fucking Street Fighter. Because for some reason they thought, yeah, give the friendliest dinosaur <laughs> in the land the Deathbringer stance. There, there's jokes that because I want I want to start doing stand up right and there's certain jokes that I have and I'm like I don't know if I can say this I don't know if I would get a laugh because yeah I've ha- I have I've had this one thing and I, I can say here because I feel like it, it's just like chill um, one thing that I always want to say is like you have you ever seen a girl that's so attractive she's so insanely hot that you that you kind of think like like sometimes I I just I kind of understand. Cause you're just like you just you just so you just want, and I'm like, can I say is that a little bit like is that just a little bit too you know? It like, might be a little bit too. That like, that is I'm gonna I'm but, gonna be the one. I've said the most raunchy shit ever, <laughs> but I think that's too far. It needs to be as funny as it is offensive. Yeah, it has no it has to be more, more funny than offensive. The 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 balance. I mean, I feel like there's if I heard a comedian um, that I like say that like say Tom Zagura for example if I heard him say I would laugh my ass off I would too I would understand I feel like I, I feel like don't. I wouldn't because it's it feels too easy it's 
sometimes I feel I I enjoy a myriad of of comedy, and yeah. I feel like easy jokes too. A lot of times, just a little, just to open up, you know, like oh, you know what this is, you know what type of show this is gonna be, and then you kind of get masterful afterwards or something. The easiest joke that I've ever seen delivered perfectly was was uh, Chappelle on the most recent one, on his most recent. <laughs> no, 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 not, not that one. Sure. It was oh, when yeah. uh, Sticks and Stones, right? Is the new is the new Dave Chappelle? Um, yeah. I think that's right. I yeah. think so. Yeah. He does this joke about the he does the I identify as yes, joke, yes. which is like a really painfully overplayed joke on the internet, especially. It's just like oh, I identify as an anti helicopter. It's like ah, uh-huh, funny, funny. Yeah, I get it. It's like we get it, yeah. But like the way he did it, he was like, if it happened to me, you'd laugh, wouldn't you? <laughs> that wouldn't be funny if it happened to me. I think it would be. What if what if it did? What if, what if I was what if I was Chinese? But, but born in this nigga body. That's not funny. <laughs> and for the rest of my life, I had to go around making that face. Hey, everybody, I'm tiny! <laughs> and everyone get mad. Stop making that face. That's offensive. What? <laughs> this is how I feel inside. <laughs> and it was just so funny. It was so, so funny. funny. That shit was actually offensive, but hilarious. It's like it no. was literally. Well, that's because it was like it, it exceeded. It like went further than people would normally go with that yeah. joke. So it was offensive, but it was also just delivered so well. He's a master at it, dude. He's, He's really good. It's really good. I've come to really appreciate Dave. Chappelle. I, I didn't really like him back in the day. Oh, really? Yeah, because like I felt like a lot of his a lot of his material was like it was like race based, but it was like obvious observations and just kind of like based on stereotypes a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just felt like oh, it felt like black people be like you know. It yeah. felt, that's what it felt like at the time, and I don't know how accurate that is. That might just be like the way that I remembered it being. There was some, there was a lot of race based. Yeah, yet. it was very race based, but like well, like it's it? still race based. Like he still does a lot of that material, but it, it feels more textured than it used to. Like I feel like his old stand up is just it, it's funny, but it's also just kind of. I don't know. I don't know what it is about this new stuff that he's been doing. I but it's just, it feels really insightful. It is. It I feels think it's like, always been insightful, but now it's just more experience he now feels, to make it more insightful. Yeah, he feels like really wise Yeah, yeah. when you listen to him. Big time. And I, I think I appreciate that probably the most about Dave Chappelle. Because like, I don't think there's any other comedian that feels as worldly or as... Or as um, lived. As lived. Yeah. There's no one that I Dave can Chappelle. think of off the top of my head. Definitely not. Yeah, even my favorite people like are just nowhere near that level yeah. of wise. The only what other person, Pat that... Oswalt. He's, he's Pat so Oswalt. Fun. He's so funny. <laughs> Pat Oswalt's the, one of the least funny people. Fuck off. I, I know. I was. I was oh man. He's <laughs> ratatouille. <laughs> based, that's it. <laughs> he's, he's ratatouille. I mean, he looks like a literal rat, so it makes sense. No, he voiced ratatouille. I know, but I'm saying it made sense because he, he looks like a rat. He, he looks like unique. I don't think I don't think they picked him for his talent. They're like, <laughs> hey, that guy looks like a fucking rat. Get him. Yeah, I don't know. He's he's funny sometimes. I don't think he's a good comedian. He's not. Yeah, he's not like. T- uh, I know he did that. What was that uh, one with Kevin James? He did that show. Um, okay, the, Queens. That's yeah. He did that. So I'm sure he was like okay in that or something. Because I was on for he's, a long he's time. A right? fu- he's funny when when other people use him. I don't for know like material. I was I was just making a joke because he's so unfunny. Yeah, I know. I understand. Why. Yeah, I understand. He, he is a comedian. <laughs> sucks. Like, uh, but I don't know. I think anybody can be funny if they're given the right material and they're directed in the right way. Uh-huh. I just saw uh, uh, the. Robert Downey Jr. on the Joe Rogan's podcast, and I couldn't believe how unbelievably charismatic Robert Downey Jr. is. Super charismatic, hilarious. I couldn't like. I've never like the way that Joe Rogan was laughing in that podcast is the way that he laughs when like his friend Joey Diaz is over. His Joey Diaz is one of those people. He's like our people. Robert Downey Jr. is on the podcast, and fucking, I'm dying. I'm. It was like, wow, this guy's fucking. He could do stand up if he wanted to, which he's is good. He's which is a funny which man. is disgusting to me because he has so many other like amazing qualities to him. Like, oh, he has this one too. Stand up is heavily like there's a lot of stand up that is charisma. Yeah, I absolutely. think you have to be charismatic to be a stand up comedian. Yeah, like without a doubt. Like, there's no you couldn't you couldn't even be. if even like people who are like kind of awkward have a, a certain level of like a different kind of charisma. Like uh-huh. I've seen, I've, uh-huh. I've definitely seen like. There was this one chick, I, I can't remember her name. She got in trouble for some joke, but like she didn't care and then nobody cared. <laughs> but, but she has this like really like monotone kind of delivery and she's very like meek. Uh huh. But it worked super well for like every set that she did. She bodied this one, ins- they were like doing this insult comic round. I think you showed me that. I showed yeah. it to you. And <laughs> they were just going back and forth on this insult comic round. And this one girl's just like, 
constantly bashing this guy and this guy's going for like you could tell he's like genuinely hurt by everything she's saying so he's like responding in like a de- really defensive way yeah and the last thing she says is like um dave's dave's mom actually died from not wearing a helmet in a motorcycle crash um she took a nasty spill she 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 actually died the way dave lives an unrecognizable road feature <laughs> <laughs> and the room just fucking died. And I was like, but it was like the just the delivery is all the same. It's like Mitch H- Mitch Hedberg almost. Okay, where it's like yeah. it's just yeah. this very straight. Yeah, there's no like highs and lows. It's just consistently funny. Yeah, I was dying, man. Dude, I it's I've thought about doing stand up, but then I feel like I would just lose my mind doing it because I'd be like I. I would just go on there and like I would just say I would have to say because like I would get so nervous and unsettled yeah. that I would just say something that I know I shouldn't say up there. Stand up, but is it weird. might get a laugh. Like, and stand- I'm like, all right, jackpot. Stand up is very different than just being funny on camera. Yeah, it's sure. like a very it's like an entirely different skill set. It's all yeah. yeah. That's that's one of the reasons why I haven't I haven't done it yet is because I don't I don't feel like I I haven't properly prepared to even step into that realm because i know how different it is it's not like say oh i know people enjoy me i'm, I'm pretty funny to these people but it's like it's a wholly fucking different animal and i could technically cheat and invite people that watch me to the show and but i want to i want to go open mic yeah yeah cold cold audience they don't know and i want to give them my best shot and i haven't done that yet but i know that you've experienced with that shit right yeah i did a couple yeah. i did like three open mics yeah first one did really well Second one did really terrible. Mm. Bombed. Horrendous. And the third one was just kind of pretty okay. I don't think I did too bad. Okay. Um, That's neat. It's That's a completely neat. different... It's It feels weird. Like, I don't think I'm good at it at all yet. Mm. I think the first one I got really lucky because I had a really good crowd. Okay. And, like, I had a really solid intro because, like, I walked in and the mic stand was, like, super high because the last comedian I went was, like, super tall. So I immediately got, like, a really good, like, laugh just miming with the <laughs> with the mic stand. Yeah. You, okay. And so I was off on, like, a really good foot immediately. That's so sick. people liked me. Uh, it's really very different. It's like, weird. I'm taking a step back just so I could, like, work on it a little bit more. But I want to do it again because it was, like, really cool. Yeah. I've it's been really crafting. Really it's really cool making, like, a group of people who don't know who you are laugh. laugh. That's, like, one of the most gratifying things. I that think, seems I think, awesome. Yeah, like, I wouldn't mind doing a show where it's, like, it's just people that are fans. Yeah. But I feel like that would be more tailored to them. Yeah. yeah. So, like, it would be, like, a lot more inside joke heavy, a little bit more, like, you know, bring Sween up or whatever. Yeah. And just do, like, a stupid... I just mean, react to some, to, to just react to videos. Yeah, that'd it would be, be a great hilarious. idea. I liked what um I I remember uh that's what the H three podcast tried to do. Mm-hmm. They did a live show, and since everybody there, it was it was like they were doing kind of you know bringing up stuff and having videos prepared on the projector and stuff. And it seemed like a good time. And they were going to do another one, but then there was complications with the venue because uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was going to go to that. I don't know if you're going to go or something. Mm-hmm, yeah, but, yeah. I was like, fuck yeah, I want to be a part of this experience. I want to experience this shit because. Ultimately, every person that I look up to, barring uh, like The Rock or something, or like say as a, like a mentor and like something, everyone else is a comedian. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is a stand-up comic, and I, I'm just like, it. Why haven't I tried to put my foot in this yet? Yeah, and this is something that I've been thinking about for over a decade, and I haven't even, I haven't even written a full like five minutes. I just have, oh, this would be a good joke, and I haven't worked it out. I haven't even mm-hmm, attempted yeah. it, and it's like, well, what the fuck am I doing? And and I really and I feel like I said this one time before that I I think that I like the, the all the all the comics I, I I watch now and stuff and and all their podcasts they all kind of came up together and I was like well I feel like that's what we should be doing people like in our generation to like we're already we're having this podcast right now and it's like well let's start hitting up open mics let's start like building up towards something and you know maybe what we should we can, do what's Zach that? has been telling me to talking to me about this too yeah where Zach was like we should just get together and do an open mic. Yeah, like all of us. I think that's a, I think that's a really trippy. good idea. That could be fun. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. I, I think that's that's exactly exactly what I was saying. And then and then like because all all the people all the people I fucking love all the people um there's uh Louis C K obviously he has little problems but Tom Segura um fucking all, all, there's a lot of people that are just they all know each other they all fucking float around Bill Burr one of my favorite people ever yeah he floats around now he has a new podcast he's always had his po- old podcast but now he has a new podcast with his new Burt Kreischer and they all they all know each other they're all friends they're all starting they're all fucking and, then, and I was just like damn it's just like a cool little community and then everybody's like and the cool thing about that is 
you're going to get a little bit of a different flavor of everybody, but at this, but you also know that you're going to have a good time. Oh, and whether I see Bill Burr, or if I see Bill, um, Burt Kreischer, if I see, um, Tom Segura or any of these fucking people, I'm like, I know these people and they're, and they're all like chill people. I'm gonna have a good time. And, um, That's I like true. that. Like Joe Rogan has this show called Joe Rogan and friends. He, he does it at the comedy store all the time. Yeah. And like, so he'll bring up all these fucking people that I'm like, dude, they're all friends and they're fucking pretty funny when they're together. It's perfect. Yeah, I can imagine the rooms, like how fucking hilarious the rooms would be. You'd just be like, shit, you just constantly laugh at. I love the energy, man. There's something about being around other people. It's like, I understand why they do laugh tracks um, and sitcoms sometimes. Because it sometimes yeah. does make you want to laugh. And then so being around other people that are having a fucking great time, you feed off that energy, man. Yeah, for sure. I and love and that. he had like get togethers in the house before where we were yeah. all just like fucking laughing and like a bunch of people, like other like other content creators would come over and we would all just like shoot the breeze and just fucking laugh our ass off at a bunch of shit that we would make up. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like anytime anytime that I hang out with Gus, Gus Johnson, Eddie Burbank and Nikki Jakey is always just a fucking hilarious I imagine. Hilarious time. I imagine. Like it's never not funny. Yeah, because everyone's just on always, and it's just such a fun environment to be in. That's what like the same thing it is here, honestly. Honestly, yeah. Like anytime we're, all... we're playing a video game, I feel like we're also kind of on. Yeah, we're all we're all fucking like because we're playing it. We're playing Smash, and then we're like, but we're also thinking like, what's what's gonna <laughs> make what's gonna make somebody laugh here? <laughs> yeah, know? it's getting it's gotten a little selfish though. We're getting to the point where we just want to make ourselves laugh, which is like scary. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like that's like a sign that something's <laughs> off. Jalen will walk in, our other roommate will walk in, and he'll just say something that just isn't funny. But he'll deliver it in a funny way, and then he'll laugh to himself, and it'll make it hilarious. He came in the other day. He came in the other. He came in the other day, and he said, "I was." He walked in like super late. I think it was like eight p.m. or something. We were playing something in the living room, and I was like, "Oh, hey, what's up, man? Oh, man, I cracked my skull." <laughs> and he just leaned against the wall and it's stood just, silently. And I was like, the, "What?" And he started cracking the fuck up to himself. <laughs> so. I feel like, I feel like that's the, I, I feel like that's the behavior of someone who legitimately cracked their skull. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what was so convincing about it. <laughs> um, I guess we'll start wrapping it up. Yeah. Because we've got how we're, how long are we at here? We're at two hours and four minutes. I it had doesn't no even clue. feel that long. I thought it was like a half an hour. That's a good sign. Yeah. 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 Uh, you wrap so, it up or you got any other uh, questions, some questions or anything? Or questions I got a couple more maybe questions just, here. Maybe just bang out a couple more and then fuck yeah, off. Just a few yeah. more okay. questions and then, <laughs> and little, then we'll... A little aggro drick. <laughs> <laughs> a drick. <laughs> drick. Uh, we got uh, Chase Blauvelt. It's a oh, fucking interesting hey. name. Uh, hey, Sweeness. Oh, What is your favorite go. class in D&D? Others feel free to answer as well. I don't play D&D because I'm not a nerd you virgin. Would, you, I'm, I am I'm both, <laughs> but leave me alone, okay? <laughs> All right. First and foremost, guys, we need to convince Chris. Chris would love Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know why he doesn't play it. It's the same thing. He's like, oh, why don't you make videos? Why don't you play D&D? One is significantly easier. One makes money. That's true. That's, yeah. That's, the and other one, one could make money. The it, other one could make money. It could make money. But uh, one's a job <laughs> that that's, I have to maintain out of responsibility. That's true. But also, I don't know. I, I feel like Dungeons and Dragons just takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time, but it's always a good time. It, I'm sure it is. But I just have so much to do. I feel you. There's so much shit to do. I have two podcasts now. Yeah. yeah you know, true. I have videos that I have to like upkeep that I'm just like not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, I just found um, Twitch. It, I was doing so much shit. Yeah. yeah. You remember that fucking uh, th- that app called Diddy? And then you would uh, use it was a MIDI that you would just text and then it would say it. So I just found one of you uh, of that I had made for you. And um, it was hilarious because like it ends with saying like um can't wait for a video in a month or two i was like laughing my ass off i was just checking it because i'm like ah, that's so fucking that is so like such a staple of who you are <laughs> like people know like oh it's that fucking guy that never makes videos <laughs> i saw on my wiki it says infrequent this. uploader or something it's a- <laughs> i was like holy shit it's canon anyway uh good lord that was that was our episode for today uh god help us all uh, I guess <laughs> if for some reason you feel compelled <laughs> to support that with which you just heard, uh, obviously the links are uh, uh, patreon.com slash the snark tank. There's a nice little community over there. Yeah, already. Uh, thank you guys for um, jumping aboard and helping us out. We really appreciate it. Yeah, it's really honestly yeah. like super cool how many Absolutely. people have jumped on, even just before we, we put out another episode. Absolutely. Uh, it's yeah. really awesome. sick. Um, if you're listening to this on iTunes also, Leave us a nice review. That actually kind of helps. I know this is like boring housekeeping shit, but it needs to be said because uh, 
The world is competitive, and if you don't compete, you will die. You will die a small child, cold and alone. We'll talk, uh, baby. Yeah, the world will eat you up, swallow you, keep you in there for a little bit, then you out. <laughs> right on the <laughs> <Yeah>. street. <laughs> so the obviously the uh, so yeah, obviously patreon.com slash the snark tank. Uh, one dollar gets you early access to every episode. Uh, five dollars gets you the ability to write in and have your questions, comments, uh, ideas, topics, whatever the hell you want read read on the show. And uh, it's that's that's it. I just want to thank some of the people who have donated a little bit more than that. People who are producers in my eyes. We've got our first one, Alex Jones. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> so thank you, Alex Jones, for making this show possible. <laughs> thank you so much for all you've done, Alex Jones. <laughs> Artie uh, Dangle Blampy, Eric Blampy. Sick, Dangle sick. Blampy is a great name. Eric uh, Pfeiffer, uh, Carson Roth, King of what is that? King of what? King of Hap... What the fuck? Oh, King of Haphazard. Uh, Richter86. Nice, Richter. Thank you. Uh, Rush, Rushanish. Rushanish. Uh, Rushanish. Ryan and Toby... What is this? Toby McFly. Toby uh, Shootman. Toby Shootman. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, Toby Shootman. Thank you all uh, for donating to the higher tiers. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're hoping to get this to a place where we can start doing video content for you guys. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Dude, that'd be so great. And it'd be sick. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the Snark Tank. We'll see you next week for more of whatever the hell this is. More garbage. Thank y'all. An acid trip of a podcast. Yeah, that was a fucking... <laughs> that was a hell scene. That was a dark place. That shit went everywhere. <laughs>